going on guys welcome back to another live stream hope everybody's having a good morning Woo! all right market's coming back a little bit after that pretty red day yesterday we got amc up about 1.94 percent trying to get back above 17 we're at 16.97 right now on amc uh gme is up about three three and a half percent over here 122.19 looking pretty good we got Ung trying to make a little comeback over here, up 2% in the pre-market. That is natural gas. How's everybody doing? We all having a good morning? You guys ready to make some money? You guys ready? Woo, baby. Here we go, people. It is going to be a fun freaking day. So as you guys are filtering in, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Let's have some fun. All right. So let's see. Daniel, STB Squirrel. Jeremy, Amy and Jimmy. Amy loves Jimmy. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good morning. Good morning, truck driver. I'm driving in my naked shorts holding AMZ like I hold my steering wheel during a snowstorm. There you go. All right, people. So let's see what we're going to get today. I mean, we've got, I haven't seen any crazy Russia news. We can take a look. We can take a look and see if we got any crazy news. Uh, spot palladium rises over 3%. All right, cool. Um, let's see what else we can get over here. Let's do a little bit of a quick Ortex update as everybody's filtering in over here. Uh, actually, let me move this around really quick. This goes down here. All right, so Ortex. It's wrong. Like, it's just, there's I, there's no other way for me to put this right now. The 100% utilization, nonsense. Not 100% utilization. It's impossible. Um, current estimated short interest right here, 20.92%. Average cost of borrow right here, 1.2%. That's relatively impossible with 100% utilization if it was real. So uh, we also have 64,000, 64.6 thousand shares borrowed today. A net borrow of 62,000 shares, 107 million shares uh, estimated to be short. And 115 million shares on loan for AMC. Now, coming over to GME, let's see what we get. Let's see. Utilization, 100%. Borrowed shares, 1,000. Cost to borrow, it's pretty high, but I mean, it's not jumping up the way that it should. It's been at four, it's been at three, it's been at two. It's just staying in this range. It's not really coming up. There's no uptrend really anymore. 20.7% uh, estimated short interest on GME, still very, very, very high. 13.01 million estimated shares sold short. Shares on loan, 17.9 million. Woo! How are we doing, people? Big Mon or Texas wrong? Yeah, pretty much. I have a crazy feeling about this week. Ooh. There we go uh morning good stream last night thank you man yeah so everybody that was in the uh discord thanks for popping into the stream that was fun uh let's see gme right here flickering around spy i mean i don't see any crazy news coming out yet let's see if we got any economic data right as we came on and eh, not really uh so let's see what we're gonna get today folks mm -mm -mm. so what do we got over here what do we have here Byron, let's see. What's that canned garbage? It's energy, dude. I don't really sleep everywhere. And it, blech. can you get sturdy for us one time? What the hell is that? All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we could see the market bounce back a little bit today, but again, it's just overall weakness. Um, I drew another one of these boxes over here for another level. There's really not that much of a difference between like this box that I have here, and then the next supply and demand zone level. So we'll see what happens today. Again, watch a test. If we're going to start to rally up, watch this level right here. We saw it test here yesterday on the market. And again, the reason why we're talking about the market here is that the market is going to dictate wherever we're going to go today. We can disjoint. We can hold up a little bit better than the market. But if the market's going to be green, we're most likely going to be green. If the market's going to be red, we're most likely going to sell off with it. So we need to see a test of this upper end of this range, 35.50 or 435.50 over here on AMC. Uh, if we can't, we could be in for some downward movement again. So just get ready. Uh, watch the commodities. So let's see oil, natural gas, all of those. And then let's see, spy going green today says AV steel. Oh, maybe. So the utilization metric is uh, so off. Is it even slightly worth using the other metrics in an educated decision-making process? Uh, hmm, sort of. It's just weird. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Because here's the thing. The moment it happened, I was like, this sounds weird. Because it, it was a bunch of different stocks. It was like GameStop, 
but like lots of stocks just randomly went from not 100% utilization pretty far away, honestly, and just shot up. And I had the explanation as to how it could happen. But then it's like, all right, since this happened, then you're going to have to see an increase in the cost of borrow. Didn't happen. So, well, I mean, I'm still waiting on it. It could happen. But with S3 partners, like a diff, like another company that reports some of that data coming out and being like, yeah, yeah we see utilization at like 83% and the cost of borrow at like less than 1%. It's like, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, is there any way to turn off alerts for pre-market since they don't really matter? Well, you're going to have to turn off the alerts and then turn back on the alerts. So you can, you can just go into the different channels and then like hide it. Let's see. BBIG or text, please. I got you. So BBIG over here. Let's see what we're getting on this thing. Let's see. BBIG up oh, utilization back to hundred percent on BBIG 42% average cost of borrow way lower than yeah, see, I, I don't know. How do you go from 300% average cost to borrow to 42% average cost to borrow? Kind of weird. Um, with 906,000 shares borrowed. And then 27.3% estimated short interest on BBIG. Uh, uh, what's up, y'all? Going to be another great day. Like that smash button. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button on your way in. Just helps get some more people in here. Let's have some fun today, people. Some people use the alerts to trade stocks. Not everyone does options. Right. Well, you can just, you can just, what do you call it? You can... Yeah, so yeah, you could have them on in the pre-market. You could turn them off. You just got to hide the alerts on that on that different section. All righty, folks. Let's see where we're getting today. Uh, 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 I hear I hear Twitter's doing something a little bit weird where they're like auto blocking people from like Jim Crane. It's weird. Uh, let's see. Twitter buyback. Let's see here. Yeah, Twitter announced a $1 billion senior notes offering. All righty. So. Mm -mm -mm. Dang, can I get it? 230% spy puts again? I mean, hey, you know what? Probably not today. Uh, the spy would have to move really, really, really big um, in order for us to see something like that because there's more time to expiration. But again, it's very, very possible. So we're going to have to wait and see. I mean, we're going to be trading stuff today. Again, wait until the head fakes start to pop through in the market. We got to wait and see what we're going to get. If we see anything crazy start to pop off, you know, we'll be right there. If there's going to be new slips, we're going to get them. Just kind of go with what the market's going to tell you today. UNG coming back down a little bit, still up 1.34. AMC at 1677 right here. SPY bouncing off that 200 EMA on the five minute. Uh, we got GME popping up here a little bit, up 3.74% at about 122.50 in the pre market over here. Uh, maybe the SPY will go up now that everyone is uh, not playing puts. Just, well, no, everybody's probably still playing puts. Uh, I see crypto alerts that mention calls and puts. Does this actually mean buy and sell? Yes, that's what it, that's what it means on the crypto alerts. It's just how the script is written. How do you feel about puts on Facebook? It's fallen a very significant amount already, so I don't. I probably wouldn't touch it. I already made kind of my money on it, so I probably wouldn't touch it now. How did Virgin Galactic do? Ah, uh, it's a dud. Virgin Galactic's a dud. Like, what are the eight eight dollar options? Oh no! If you played a strangle on this, you're dead. That's why I didn't want to play any space. That was not looking decent. Che got a 300 million buyback. Woo! Kodiak? Kodak? What is it? No. What's Kodiak? Facebook. Is Facebook like doing weird stuff again? No, nah, Facebook's up a little bit. Everything's a little bit green in the pre-market here. Spy's up 0.67. Amy's up 1.88. GME's up 3.74. Everything's a little bit green in the pre-market over here. Uh, uh, uh. KID? No, I don't know what this is. You're messing around. You're messing around over here. You're spewing nonsense. 3.46% uh, in the green. Oh, KOD, KOD, KOD. Oh, oh, whatever this is, is not having fun right here. Does this have a chain? Oh, what the heck happened to this thing? Down 74%? Oh, they must have gotten terrible news from this drug. 
This is the problem with biotechs, people. This is literally the problem with biotechs. They don't get the, the results that they want. They'll fall 70%. Uh, GME over here still at 122.48. AMC, 16.78. Spy trying to pop up a little bit here, but let's see. How can anyone predict that? Wait, predict what? Is AMC going to fall as we end the week on five? Uh, dude, I have no idea. Nobody has any idea. You can have an educated guess on what's going to happen with the, with the stock. But there's no way to tell because it's all going to be pegged to the market. If I if I could tell you which way the market was going to go by the end of the week and I was correct every single time, I'd be a billionaire already. And I'm not a billionaire. So calls for KOD? No. No, 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 no. Not I mean, don't I won't touch any of this stuff. Just because the IV shoots up, you have no way it's going to go. You have bad news coming out about it. Everybody's selling it. It's like, yeah, you could play a little bit of a reversion play on and try, but the options are going to be so expensive on it. They were expensive before this move happened. Let's see. You need to get that crystal ball for live streams. Yeah. I know it'll go right. The chart will go right. Let's see here. Those premiums are outrageous. Yeah, the $30 strike was $500. Like, that's crazy. Let's see here. Yeah, also, if you guys don't mind, hitting that like button on your way in just helps out a whole lot uh, with the YouTube stuff. YouTube's been kind of messing around recently. Um, so if you guys don't mind helping me out a little bit, just cost you nothing to do it. Just dropping some likes on the stream. I would really appreciate it. Uh, look at how look at how deep in the money those puts are. 180 strike puts are going to be insane. Right, but Right, but look at how expensive they are. They were twelve grand. They were thirteen thousand dollars to get this. They're already jacked. Like this is a crazy option chain here. Like the th the thirties were five hundred dollars, and the IV is two hundred forty five. No, this is craziness. Uh, BCRX. Let's see what's going on with this. BCRX. What do we got going on here? I mean, it's down six percent. This is probably some more bad news. Oh, slipped after low lower than expected Q four results. So earnings. I'm saying that's going to be wild. Yeah, that'll probably double. I, so I, that, those will probably double. Those anything like so you're going to get at least a double just with the IV and the amount of like the, the craziness that's priced into that options chain. It's probably going to be a double. Let's see here. All righty, team. Those puts will be like 80K later today. Oh, with in intrinsic value. Mm, they probably they might be. Wait, eight. No, they would have to be eight hundred dollars in the money, I think. I think that yeah, eight hundred dollars in the money, which it won't be for intrinsic value. All right, spy flicking around here, up about 0.64. We got AMC up 1.94, 1679. GME, little red candle. Where's Ung? Ung. Yeah. Ung might be all right. Let's see what happens with it. Woo! All righty. All righty, folks. Da, 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 da. EQT, what's EQT? Uh, two percent for our chart. Uh, mm, watch it at this 200 EMA. If it falls below, that thing's gonna tank. True, fair, broke the stoke. Good to see you in here, man. But couldn't IV affect that and push premium? Yes, it can. But if they're already jacked up in price, you're not going to get as much. You want to go from like low IV to high IV. But the, if the IV is already high, then you're going to get screwed a little bit. Natural gas, what's it doing? Oh, there she goes. Natural gas coming up. Give me my own calls, please. Has the cost borrow gone up, gone up yet? Nope. Which is honestly really annoying. Like it should be going up, but it's just not. It's just not. It's actually going down. Like if you look at AM, AMC over here, see how many shares they've taken out on loan today. I think it's a decent amount already. Yeah, 1.06 million shares. Average cost of borrow, 1.45. It's not moving. What's your AMC earnings play? Not, not touching it. Not touching it. Natural gas company? Ooh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I'm playing United States natural gas. I'm hoping this gets a little bit of a pop. I'm playing the 1650s for this week. I think it could be nasty. I mean, it's done it a few times over the last, like 1950s, the high when natural gas really starts to get going. So hopefully we get a little bit of a nice pop on natural gas this week. It's very, very possible. You, 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 isn't that uranium? 
energy fuels. Yeah, it's up 4.33% over here. Uh, are gold and oil correlated? In terms of inflation, they should be, but maybe. It, it, it also all depends on where the money's going to go. Like, is the money going to flow into stuff like oil, gas, and, and like, that's kind of all it comes down to at the end of the day. Uh, IV is 500 plus percent, but could easily go a thousand percent. IV at 74 percent. Yes, it can. It can broke the stove. Should have got those Occugen puts. You knew it. Oh no, what's Occugen at? Did it tank? Oh, I mean, 18 percent. What are the these might not actually be that good? And eh, they might, they might be all right. I mean, it was up a lot yesterday, 22 percent. Let's see. EQTs in the U.S. Interesting. Well, what's natural gas doing right now? That's flickering. Let's see what happens with it. Uh, I mean, I'm going to hold those natural gas calls. They're down a little bit in the like they're down a decent amount. But I went small on it, so I don't really care. Um, but we'll see. Uh, if Russia shuts down gas for Ukraine, Biden is going to have to have LNG flow uh, from USA to Ukraine. Oh, interesting. Apparently, uh, Russia owns a lot of gold, so you may see a correlation with oil. Okay, that's fair. Um, I've also heard like. Russia owns a lot of Bitcoin. I've heard like stuff like that as well. Uh, Spy popping off this 200 EMA over here. Let's see. GME, 122.48. Not really moving over here. Ung just kind of staying right flat at, uh, well, not flat, but like right at 15.94. Oh, yeah. Occugen did an offering after that big pop. Yeah, they did. They did. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Eric, look at 10. What's 10? Holy shit. <laughs> you guys are calling out some wild movers this morning. 96% green in the pre-market. Is this buyout? Oh, it's Apollo taking manufacturer Teneco private at a fat premium, says Market Watch. That's a weird way to phrase it for Market Watch. Like, that's something that I would say. Be like, oh, they're taking it public at a fat premium. And then they're just the market. Watch. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? Look at this. I hate these candles. So, guys, remember that little NASDAQ rule um, that they're trying to implement where they're trying to execute orders five minutes after close at the closing price and provide more liquidity? That's an example of why they're trying to put that in there because of this shit. Because, look, somebody just put in probably a, a big buy or a sell order or something because this is – I mean, we can check the level two and see if this actually went through, but – these candles are not good for the market. It's like, hold on, what the hell is this? Like, this is going to spook potentially a bunch of algorithms if there's enough shares that are getting traded at these lower parts of this candle. And like, this should not happen. So that's, I think, what NASDAQ's trying to do with that new uh, that new rule. Uh, figured you could tell me. Yeah, so it's going private. Sorry, I was on a call. Did you talk about SIAC and the S4 filing? I did not. I can do an Ortex on it. Let's see. What's SIAC doing over here? Uh, C chain. Let's see. So 6.94% has made short interest, 36% utilization, 4.66% 4 4 average cost to borrow. That's what we got on this thing. Bitcoin might become new petrodollar. Interesting. Liquidity grab could be could be that as well, people. Uh 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 uh. Let's see. Uh spy. Up 0.71% over here, up three bucks in the pre market. So let's see what happens with the spy this morning. Again, I'm going to be watching that upper end of this zone over here, but if it can't break it, I'll literally. Uh, so here's what I'll do with the spy today. If you guys were watching the live stream last night in the premium Discord, first of all, awesome. And if you guys do want to get that access to the Discord for the week uh, for free, uh, you can cancel before March 1st. Make sure you check out the link in the top of the description over here to join. Um, so the live stream last night, we were kind of talking about this spy trade that I was looking at. So yesterday, here's what we're going to look at going into today for spy. I really like trading spy these days. It's kind of easy to predict. You can stay in it for a long time. You're good to go. This upper end of this range right here is going to be very, very strong resistance. Why? Okay, so what we're looking at here, this blue box is a supply and demand zone. Now it's institutional buyers is what you're looking at here. Uh, we've drawn them out on AMC. There's a lot more of them on AMC, so it's a little bit harder to look at, and there's a lot more volatility, and people can push it around and manipulation going on. So with the SPY, though, with those supply and demand zones, what you're looking for is big institutional money to come and push this thing out of this range where we've seen it battle in the past. Because what happens is, is in the past, at these price levels, we've seen the SPY enter into this range, 
chop around a little bit and either in big money is going to come in and just buy it and push it back up or the buyers are not going to be able to buy it back buy it enough and throw in those buying orders to send it up and the sellers are going to outweigh the buyers and push it back down so if we start to see a little bit of resistance up at this top end of the range today even maybe without a 1348 i might start scaling into puts but if we start to break out of this range with some 1348 I'll be in call. So I'm just kind of going to wait and see what the chart's telling me. Like, like last night when we were talking about the, the analogy of what's going on, like football, when you're trading, it's after the ball is snapped and you're playing quarterback. But what everybody can do is before the ball is even snapped, you can just look and read the defense. What are they playing? Are they playing zone? Are they playing man? Where's the safety lined up? Where's the cornerback lined up? Where's everybody going to move? That's reading market context and seeing, okay, what is the overall trend of the market recently? Down. There's a lot of weakness. So things are going to be more inclined to go to the bearish side. In my mind, I even feel more comfortable right now buying a bunch of puts on things because the sellers are going to be selling a lot more than the buyers are willing to buy right now, just in everything. So when you think about that, it's like, okay, if you start to see momentum to the downside, you can probably make a decent more of amount of money on puts. So, and then let's check like Micron. Micron's up a little bit in the pre-market over here. Watch the ship makers. Um, remember AMD yesterday had a little bit of good news. I think it was a price target increase. Yeah, it's up 2% today. Uh, AMC right now is up 2.19% in the pre-market, 1683. Let's see if we can break that 17 and start getting back up to those declaration of independence numbers, Don Julio, 1942, and then that big boy, 20. Uh, GME over here is at 122.37. Let's see what happens today, folks. Uh, has there been any more Twitter nonsense from Gaspar Gerino? No. Well, it's cracking. V rhymes with AMC. How you doing? Did you notice AMC utilizations at 100? March 3rd squeeze is what me and Lou predict. Michael, 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 Michael. Michael, Michael, I think you're joking. I think you're joking. But for anybody that thinks that's serious, March 3rd is supposed to be this transparency date, but they're reading it wrong. It's not actually when the rules come into effect. It's when the comment period ends, I believe, and then they can always extend the comment period. It's the minimum amount of days. <laughs> it's that. And then that transparency rule, what are they just going to do? Oh, this rule is like, oh, yeah, these big hedge funds and institutions have to report when they're having issues. How does that tie into shorts covering? <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, and utilization nonsense at 100%. It's not 100%. It's just there's no way for it to be 100% with cost to borrow that low. Like with this, this sea change thing. Look, 36% utilization, 4.66% cost to borrow. Nonsense. Home Depot may look like lows today. Well, they usually follow each other over here. Lowe's is up 3% in the pre-market. HD, how's this doing? Yeah, Home Depot could be a good one to play back to the upside after they miss their earnings. What's the low for today in opening? Are you asking me how low I think it's going to go? GME FTDs on Ortex? Let me look. Uh, 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 all righty, folks. Let's see. GME FTDs. Eh. What is this? 151,000. Then down here. 23,000. Not that crazy yet. Not that crazy. All righty, folks. Let's see here. Just deposit $1,000. Where should you spend it? Wherever you think you're going to make the most money. Let's see. AMC over here. You want AMC FTDs too? We could look at AMC's FTDs. IWM's FTDs were pretty big. Um, the other thing, as I was saying yesterday... Where is this? FTDs? Yeah, they're really low. Um, so as I was saying yesterday, oh, shoot, I got to send over the link. Let's see over here. Uh, so as I was saying yesterday about like the market and like why there's so much short interest in a lot of these ETFs, it could easily just be based on the amount of puts that have been bought and the market makers have to hedge with shorts. By beef and oil, inflation going to spike higher. Uh, yeah, I've got natural gas today for this week. Let's see what happens with it. Uh, oh, there we go, Ung. That's what we like to see. Ung getting spicy. Yup, there we go. I'm liking this over here, people. Let's make some money on freaking natural gas. How's it doing, actually? Like, uh, 
Natural gas is up 0.76% over here. Not bad. Also, for everybody filtering in right now, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too. Um, it just helps out a whole lot. You guys are doing real good so far. Thank you very much though for all the people that have been supporting the channel and me recently. Um, it's really, really cool. Thank you guys. BB at GFTDs are crazy. Yeah, and it's on the threshold list. Yeah, I saw that. Now Lou is scaring people into selling even lower and be lucky to get uh, what you get, even if it's just $75 a share. Here's the thing, people. People, I don't know if that's actually the message. See, here's the thing. I don't know if that's actually what he means. I, like, that's the thing. Like, sometimes he says stuff and people runs people run with it. Um, and then people get the wrong idea. It's happened a few times when that's not actually what he means. But if on the uh, exact, yeah, so somebody's saying that's not actually what he's saying. If somebody is out there do uh, saying something like that, and they are telling a lot of people they are now fucking with your money. Just putting it out there. I don't think I don't know if that's actually what he's saying. I have no idea. And I think a lot of the time people misinterpret what is said over there. Um, but if that is something that's actually being said, they're screwing with your money. Just putting it out there. They're screwing with you. So let's see. Uh, if the 1348 cross occurs in the pre-market but doesn't hold the 200 until after market open, is it actionable? Not seeking financial advice? That's touch. Um, I've thought about that before. In my mind, no. But that's a gray area. That's a gray area for, for 1348. So you can do it. It's just not necessarily following the rules. Uh, let's see. No, he's saying that at that dollar amount of 75, everybody will be green in their account. Fair, exactly. Misinterpret it again. See, it happens all the time with that stuff. So that's that's the one thing that, yeah, Twitter has offering senior notes. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's like, all right, well, sometimes the message is just not conveyed very well. And then people run with stuff and you're like, oh boy, here we go again. People are, and then there's no correction. It's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But the, the message is actually like, okay, well, there's something good going on here. But it's not like, I don't know. It, it's a hard it, – because, like, some of the info is, like – or not info. Most of the info is not good. But s some of, like, the 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 morale boosting is very, very good. Is it possible to set up the 1348 lines on my phone don't have access to a computer? Yes, you can do it on Weeble. People have low comprehension. True. Calls at 60. You got You got calls at 60? What are you doing? That's not helping the price. That's not helping anything. It's kind of selfish. Not going to lie. It's kind of selfish. You're buying calls way out like that. You're like, oh, I'm not trying to help the price go up. I'm just hoping that the price goes up and then I make a bunch of money. Like, think about it. Like, if you buy, if, if it, a lot of in the money and at the money calls are bought, here's the thing. If instead in January, no, nobody was buying those 145 calls and everybody just bought the at the money, in the money calls, we would have exploded. We would have squeezed. Just putting it out there. I'm not telling you what to do at all. Like you, people are going to do what they're going to do at the end of the day. And there's nothing that I can say about it. Like the, people are going to do what they're going to do at the end of the day. I, all I'm trying to do here is say, hey, this is how options are going to affect price if you buy them here and if you buy them here. If all those one, if all that money at the 145 came down to like the at the money in the money strike, we would have squeezed. Uh, after 73, we're all green again. Yeah, that's what that's what people are saying now. It's fine. You made a video showing the mobile setup. Wanted felons, you did do that. Thank you for doing that. You have 145 calls for January 2023. Yeah, I mean, those aren't going to get hedged. Uh, at this point, though, <coughs> if you bought those a while ago before you learned, ship a sale. You already kind of know. You, you're, you're, now you know, and it's like, all right, this is kind of what we're looking at with options uh how come nobody talks about the volume of amc 1.2 uh, billion shares in january of 2022 because it doesn't matter uh because volume and volume is just okay it's okay here's the thing when you when you think about volume think about what amc is amc is one of the most talked about tickers in the entire market you're going to have Tesla. You're going to have AMC, GME, like the chip makers, SPY, and a lot of these other things. But AMC and GME are going to really, really, really be talked about the most. So when you have things get talked about the most, there's always going to be a lot more volume. 
if there's more volume, it just means it's getting traded a lot. Now, here's the here's the here's the deal with AMC. If you stare at it enough, you know where it's gonna go every single time. You pretty much can see where Amy's gonna go every single day. It pop up in the morning, sells off. What with that, with with that type of price action, you're gonna see a lot of day traders get into the thing. It's just gonna happen. J, J traders are gonna get into this thing and be like, "Oh shoot, they know where it's gonna go." People are just out there making money. So that's one of the reasons why the volume is is that high. But the thing about day traders is it's the same thing with options. They just help further a move in one direction. You're gonna see it. If the price is going up, the day traders are going to bid it up higher. And if it's going down, the day traders are going to sell it down lower. All righty, folks. Dun, dun, dun. All righty. What's up with the sniffles? I don't know. I don't know. My, one of my noses just keeps getting clogged. Uh, Spy's coming up here a little bit. So it's up 0.81% in the pre-market over here. Ung looking all right. We got AMC, eight, uh, sorry, 1686. We got GME at 122.01. Market's looking all right this morning. Again, for all those new people filtering in right now, uh, we got this level up here at about 435.50 that I'm kind of watching out for to really see if that bullish trend is going to continue. So lick the like for my man, Vix. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. Sheep looking the sheep. Eh. Uh, thoughts on market close earnings today? Strangle for Hertz and eBay. I would go on eBay or go for eBay. Maybe we can price it in a little bit later and just kind of see what we're going to get on it. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, I don't know about Hertz. Hertz, maybe. Um, I think they're OTC now, aren't they? Get yourself some smelling salts, dude. Doesn't that kill your brain cells? Yes, if you got a cocaine delivery. No, what's UVXY at? I'll tell you right now. It's probably selling off in the pre-market. Vixie, uh, down about 4.34%. What am I, like nostrils, like canals, you know? Yeah, UVXY is at 1610, down about 4.2%. Looking at Sony, good morning, SV. What's up, Ryan? How you doing, buddy? All right, let's see. TLT, what's TLT doing? Probably a little uh, down in the pre-market. TLT strangle is going to get... Mm, let's see what happens with it. I don't know. I'm fully fine with that expiring worthless. It's not that big, but if something happens, I want to have the TLT there. Then Ung, right around 16. Uh, did you read Rico's letter to the apes? And if so, what did you think? I did not know. Uh, what was the gist of it? Uh, Trey's mustache. Happy birthday, SV. It's not my birthday, but thank you. I appreciate that. Playing the spy today? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'll put together some of my little technicals with uh, squirrels technicals, and we'll see what's going to happen with it. I hope we get some horses today. Me too. Uh, Sue Ray, good morning. Do work, STV. Sue Ray, appreciate that, man. All right. Uh, Ung over here looking all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Woo! Wags, thank you so much for the super, buddy. I appreciate that a whole lot. Man, thank you to all you guys who send those in. Um, you guys don't have to if you don't want to, um, but special shout out to those of you guys who do. Without your, all your guys' support, um, makes it a lot easier to continue what we're doing over here. So thank you guys so much. You guys definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to, though. Um, Wags, thank you so much, man. Overstock about to pop per Jeff Bach. OSTK, didn't they have earnings? Uh, oh, baby. All right, so here's the deal with Overstock. <clears throat> Overstock's up 23.5% after their earnings right here. Overstock T0 ATS has successfully launches clearance settlement functionality for securities tokens. Woo! So they had earnings. So this was mentioned in their earnings announcement. Honestly, I don't think Overstock's a bad long-term hold. Here's why. When you look at it on the maximum time frame over here, Overstock is going to do exactly what I think AMC is going to do. So Overstock, Back in 08, where is it? No, this is 05. It runs from 17 to 77. Then the shorts hammer it. Now a little bit of relief bounce over here, but shark fins comes right back down. Chills out, runs back up again, comes down. But then in 2018, 2017, Matt, pretty big squeeze over here from 16 all the way up to 88. Okay, then it comes down to two in 2020. And then overstock goes absolutely freaking nuclear from two to 128 and it is now sold off so overstock 
decent amount of short interest on it. Let's take a look. I think it's got a decent amount of oh, oh, short interest on it. So overstock, 16.65% estimated short interest, according to Ortex. Okay. So when, sounds like AMC. Exactly. So when you, and here's the thing, overstock announces good earnings of 23%. Cool. Uh, he says full distribution has now happened on GME and AMC. The time is now. We're about to rip up hard this week or next. Interesting. I like that, Trey's mustache. Uh, Overstock is going to boom. Marco Hodes completed a deal yesterday between Overstock, T-Zero, and the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, okay. I might throw some money at Overstock for a potential big run uh, because here's the thing. It moves like I see AMC moving in the future. We saw the run-up in January, comes back down. We saw the run-up in June, comes back down. Eventually, with the amount of short interest in these stocks, they will run again. Just they will. It's it's almost a guarantee. How long is it going to be? I have no idea. The gap between this big run right here and this, or these two runs are more of the important ones. So this is 2017, 2018, and then this one is 2020. So it's about two and a half years. Okay, cool, whatever. Are you going to wait two and a half years for, for it to go? Well, we're already a year into it. We wouldn't have that much longer to go for a massive run. But I mean, I have no idea how long it's going to take. It could happen now. It could happen to the year from now. Who knows? But I do see eventually it will go just because there's a lot of short interest in it. There's still a lot of people talking about it. And you see the company's getting better fundamentally as a company. Now, Overstock right here is looking very, very, very good. ICE is the parent company to the New Interesting. Wow, Ryan, that's pretty really interesting. All right, people. Yeah, as you're filtering it, wow, Overstock's getting spicy in the pre-market over here. What's the chain going to look like on this? It's The chain's going to go wild. I honestly might get like, if I get something, I might get like June, like crazy, like a crazy contract just in case. Like this is pumping in the pre-market over here. Hit the like button for your boy Vix, that one. Dude, I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, guys, make sure you guys are engaging with the content. Helps get this stream out to some more people. Um, we're going fast. Here we go. So AMC right now, 1680 over here. Spy uh 432.89 up three dollars and thirty two cents over here. Still waiting on Piggly Wiggly to run again. Yeah. Patiently waiting, not leaving. Gary, there you go. There you go. And the thing is, is that what we're trying to do with 1348 is one, give you the skills to make money in the market. But when you're making money in the market, it makes it easier to just be like, oh, AMC's flickering around. Oh, but I'm still green on the day. That's what that's what 1348 is for. Let's see here. So hopefully everybody's having a good morning so far, people. Having some fun. All righty. So uh, where's, wow, Overstock looking good, man. You have bought over 100 shares over the past week. Puts me over 400 now. It's a struggle, but I believe. Shan, there you go. Draft King's kind of running. Uh, market's coming up, is it? At about about 2.9%. DraftKings looking good from open yesterday. It's really done nothing except rip. All green here, that one dude. There you go. Always a great morning with you, buddy. It's STV1 Wrench. I appreciate you coming in, buddy. Let's see here. Uh, 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 ung, where's Ung? Ung. Oh, I think Ung could be nasty this week. I actually think natural gas could be a nasty trade this week if this hits. Um... So these contracts might come back to life a little bit today. Uh, I mean, they're down like 50% uh, as of yesterday, but let's see what we get over here. Uh, yeah, the uncontracts are down like 55%. I really went small on it though. I think I spent like 120 bucks, but if it rips and it goes, it'll be a pretty nasty trade. What about Upstart, UPST? I don't know. Let's see. UPST. Let's see here, folks. Uh, 3% in the pre-market. Guys, if the market starts to run a little bit today, could be a fun day for Amy and Jimmy and a lot of other things too. Look at that wick on the spy. Dude, I know we were talking about that a little earlier. It's crazy. Chan Chan, where's Chan Chan? Uh, how much weight would you give RSI on uh, Overstock if you were doing shorter term op options play? When earnings comes out and you get momentum, probably not a lot. Uh, Disney going to run today? If the market runs, Disney will run. Where's Disney right here? Disney. Uh, almost at 150, 149.75, up 1.21% over here. Spy just kind of flickering around 0.76% uh, in the green. Amy, 2.19% in the green over here. Jimmy, 3.65% in the green over here. Woo! Thanks. Anytime, Keith. No pants. What is no pants? 
All righty. Let's see. REGI has news of a buyout. Well, see, you can't really do much with that if it's, I mean, this is a, there are a lot of freaking runners today, people. Jeez, man. A lot of runners. Mess up, open my first Weeble account as margin. Open a second Weeble account as cash account. Just waiting on settled cash. I want some of that 1348 action. Brian, there you go, buddy. Yes, please. I want to see the spy freaking rip uh, and have AMC and GME rip. I have call and have calls on the spy that rip and feel my pockets getting heavy. Ooh, baby. That would be sweet. What way is the spy going today, bro? No idea. <laughs> Nobody has any idea. Like, that's the thing. Nobody has any idea ever. You have a guess. I could tell you what my guess is, but it doesn't matter. Just waiting until we see what 1348 tells us. Subi sickness. There we go. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is up 2%, about five bucks in the pre-market. There you go. Spy is coming up here a little bit. Again, watch the spy at the upper end of this range over here, uh, 435.50. And then let's see what happens with AMC and GME today. And then Overstock, keep an eye on that. Uh, Ung, anything oil, natural gas. Uh, oil still in the red over here. Oh, okay. Natural gas pumping. So we have WTI crude basically flat down about four cents in the pre-market. We have natural gas now up about 1.27%. If natural gas has a day and a half today, I mean, these Ung calls could go absolutely wild what way nobody knows nobody knows which way what's up subi sickness how you doing the spy will move to the right exactly exactly the spy will move directly to the right can spy go up ten dollars today it's possible is it gonna i don't know <laughs> Uh, waiting, uh, the first 30 minutes on the spy would have saved me, uh, 25% yesterday. Yeah. I mean, we still hit that nasty spy trade yesterday too. So you probably made it back if you were in on that. BBIG looks spicy. Ooh, what's Biggie doing in the pre-market? Biggie. 3% in the pre-market over here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. let's see. Again, when the market opens, people, make sure you're calling out the crosses so we can kind of see where everything's going. Um, and then again, if you guys do want access to the premium for the Discord this week for free, make sure you guys join up um, and just cancel before March 1st if you do not want to continue. But definitely go see what it's all about. So hungry. There we go. Let's see. Uh, Ung, United States Natural Gas. Let's see what we got over here, folks. Bing. Bong, you have calls on BBIG and shares. Trace mustache. There you go, buddy. All right, let's see. Is it too late to get uncalls if you don't have any already? Well, my uncalls right now are down 55%. So, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. If the S&P uh, 500 drops 50%, does that mean AMC will typically drop too? Yes, it will. Uh, have I looked into Mullen? There's some crazy data on it. Yeah, M. Crease has been telling me about that one for a little while. Mullen Automotive. I mean, it's it was down a little yesterday. It's up 26% in the pre-market today. That one could be a decent one. Um, could be a deal. What's the float on this? Wow. 13.62 million shares. That's not a lot of... What's the market cap on this thing? 21 million? It's got a lot of upside, man. Did I play space earnings? No. G GME 1348 is real strong, bro. I don't know. This might be a rip day for our favorites. Uh, on the four hour, are you looking at it on? Nah, it needs to get above this 200 EMA with like cl big closing candles and really get that momentum. Let's see here. Yeah, also, as everybody's filtering in, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. It's been really, really cool seeing all you guys tune in every single day. Let's see. Good morning, SB. Will 1348 be strong indicators to use even with stocks that are not that volatile? Yeah, 100%. Like I trade Viac with it or like uh, some other stocks. I mean, typically you want momentum stocks with like high ATRs just because you're going to get bigger dollar moves and you could you could crank with them. Um, oh, Ung could be nasty. What well, Ung calls you have? 1650 for this week. Subi sickness, what's up, buddy? 
All right, uh, Spy, not doing a whole lot here. We got about 15 minutes until market opens, everybody. Here we go. AT, no, no, ATR is average true range. So it's about how much the stock moves every single day. Uh, uh, you have nothing else to do? Well, I'm happy you decided to spend your nothing else to do time with me. Uh, Spy, flickering, GME, 122.01, Ung, 1606 high in the pre-market i believe is 1611 uh it says the high over here 1617 oh no that was yesterday's high DraftKings ditched you what happened with DraftKings? DraftKings is looking good in the pre-market oh man if you guys have DraftKings calls you are printing just kidding you're very informative appreciate that airplane mode what's up man how you doing all right, so Spy, starting to filter up here a little bit. Also, guys, as you're filtering in, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too. Let's get that engagement up, get some more people in here, get more people learning about AMC and GME, more people learning about 1348 to make lots more money in the market than they were previously. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got the mass gang coming in. What's up, people? How you guys doing? So uh, AMC selling off a little bit here. Spy making its way back down. Let's see what we get over here, folks. Uh, let's get Ung over here. Yeah, Ung's still looking all right. I bet Mass Gang hits the likes. I bet they do. I bet they do. SV Wen Wrench. I'm hoping SoFi and ChargePoint come back. My calls are hella down. Uh, EVs and batteries had a tough day. Yes, yeah, six percent. I mean, you're gonna need a big boom out of this to really get you back going. Um, but I mean, ChargePoint. It's had some, some spurts of bullishness, but gotta be careful with it. SoFi running. Woo. Is it now? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, it was down 10% yesterday. It's up about five this morning. Do you have $210 after yesterday? I guess so. I guess so, man. Uh, let's see. STV running? Yeah. All right. So, uh, Amy, right now, going into market open, we've got about 14 minutes left. 1680. 1680 in the pre-market. We're up 2%. SoFi up 4.87. GME up 3.5%. Spy's up 0.8%. Everything's looking pretty decent over here, folks. Looking pretty decent over here. So, oh, Ung. I'm liking what I'm seeing over here on you, Ung. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Uh, Tony DiNaro says there is nothing on the books and shows the website of nothing on the books to happen March 3rd. What do you think? He's right. This March 3rd stuff is bullshit. If it happens on March 3rd, you guys can all come in here in the stream and be like, hey, this transparency is the catalyst for squeeze. And I'll be like, all right, I'm wrong. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, can I look at Indo? Yeah, what's this thing? Uh, twelve percent in the pre-market. Indonesia Energy Corp. I mean, is there news on it? Now it's probably just moving with like energy stocks. So let's see what happens. I think Ung has the potential to have a really good day today. Uh, where's natural gas right now? Yeah, natural gas is holding up above one percent over here. Dude, this March is up. Never mind. You said it, David Morgan. No, I didn't. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, just started streaming my Doge price pattern. Super excited about it. There you go. Uh, let's see. All right, folks. Let's make some natural gas money today, huh? Spy looks all right in the pre-market over here. Uh, no cross on it. I mean, it's pro here's probably what's going to happen with the Spy. It's going to be head fakey for like the first couple of minutes. I'm probably going to wait a while today to really see where things are about to move. Um, and then other than that, we're just going to be cranking today, people. Uh, spy creeping. It is creeping. It's starting to creep up here a little bit. It's creeping. No, it seems to be a runner. Yeah. How do you get those opening and closing bell sounds? I don't know. I don't have them. I just say ding, ding, ding. <laughs> how we doing? How we doing? Ape investor. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good this morning. Let's make some gas. All right, Keith. All right, people, that's what we're going to do today. Amy, looking all right in the pre-market. I mean, it's up a little bit over here. Ho, ho, special guest in the building. What's up, buddy? What is going on, my guy? Not much. How's your morning going? So far, so good. Things are looking green, so I'm ready for that pump and then that dump. Mm -hmm. I'm watching Spy to touch that 435.50 again, and if it doesn't like it over there, 
auto puts. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. I mean, if we can even see a rejection at 440, like I don't I I don't trust the the bullish market right now. Not until we, we see some lie. some freaking uh rate hikes. Yep. Ung is looking all right in the pre-market here. What is? Natural gas. Yeah, I mean is, oh, wait one second. Is uh what is oil doing right now? Uh slightly green. WTI I've got it at 91.97. Nice. Okay, okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. Everything is green right. Every everything is green right now. Everything yep. is green. It's just like I don't trust it. It's just weird, especially coming off of yesterday. It's like, hmm, what's going on here, market? <laughs> spy puts are still heavy. Millions of dollars are still in spy puts right now. Yeah. Oh, they... dude, I'm, I stream, I'm streaming naked shorts. You doing what? I'm streaming naked shorts. How are you doing that? I took my pants off. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I took my pants off earlier this morning. Uh, Ryan Cohen tweeted out naked shorts, so I just, uh, you know. He tweeted that. Yeah, I saw that. That was his 69th tweet. I was like, all right, Ryan Cohen, what are you doing here, buddy? Well, he did he did tweet out 69 also before, like the actual yeah. sex said 69, right? So he's on something different. I don't know exactly what he's on. Uh, but yeah. So you could you could think about it like his 69th tweet and he tweeted 69. So they were naked in the photo, naked shorts. Or were they wearing shorts? And they were just naked. I don't think they were wearing shorts. No, they weren't wearing anything. They weren't wearing anything. <laughs> they were they were not wearing anything. They were definitely naked. It's only that's weird. Okay, hold on, people. Just so we're clear, we don't know what you guys are watch wearing when you guys watch the stream. Half of you guys are in bed half the time you guys are watching these early morning streams. Just so we're clear. So you guys are already in there in your bed with naked shorts on. Don't make it seem like we're the only ones over here with naked shorts. Well, I don't know what shorts is wearing to tell you the truth. I'm wearing shorts. Dude, wearing- people who used to come in and tell me be like, I'm on the toilet right now. And I was like, all right. <laughs> See, there you go. That's it. That's it. Uh, team, I didn't show ankles. No, no, I didn't show ankles. I didn't show ankles. I just showed I don't, I just showed the, the pants that I had to take off and throw away. That was it. But I still have my boxers on. There you go. I'm wearing pajamas 95% of the time. See, well, that's how you're you doing it in Kansas. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. the Kansas scandal. <laughs> TMI was streaming with no pants. You know what the funny thing is about Kansas? What? That we went on a, an 80% run after Kansas that yeah. nobody wants to speak about. I'm just like, let me get this straight. We went to Kansas, and then we went on an 85% run. But everyone's always like, you guys sold in Kansas. It's like, before an 80% <laughs> run? Like, <laughs> What are we, stupid? <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I always love I always love looking at people be like, remember Kansas. It's like um what like, like, we what literally do you think? just went to Buffalo Wild Wings and like ate food and then like drank and stayed up late. <laughs> what do you think could have happened? We were streaming for for the trip. You guys saw us there. Yeah, we and we <laughs> dude, I we stayed up all night and I was just like hammered on TMI stream, just sitting there, just like, oh man. I was hammering my own stream, just looking at it like, all right, guys, look, we're gonna keep it cool, calm, collected. And if I fall asleep, it is what it is. Yeah, that was rough. I was good for a while and then hit me. Uh let's see here. It was it was tough. What's up? Oh, I think he said he said what's up, Vix. And I was just like, is the Vix up? But I think he's talking to you. Let me I'm, take a look I'm at the doing Vicks. good. Lenny, what's up with you, buddy? Uh yeah, nothing's too nothing's too crazy right now. Uh mortgage rates are low. That's okay. That's okay. Coming up a little bit, I think. Uh let's see here. Do, 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 do. Anything crazy going on for the market? Nothing I don't think yet. so. Donnie. <laughs> Donnie's asking, does SCV have an NFT ape like TMI? You should do an intro video of his showing his ankles. Good morning. That would be freaking Donnie, hilarious. Good morning, buddy. Donnie, Donnie, you should just record a video of your ankles. We'll just make it into an NFT. Yeah, exactly. It'll just be for free. Exactly. <laughs> and then you can come in and bid it up. I like it. I like it. I'll buy it up and then you can buy it back from me. We'll just keep it going. Keep the hype train going. Yeah, exactly. We'll just ping pong it back and forth. We'll high frequency trade those. Oh, well played. Well played. Uh, keep an eye on uh, on Mullen. Mullen, yeah, coming up. Yeah, I saw, uh, what's his name? Um, True Demon tweeting some things out about yesterday. Some DD. Yeah, M. Kreese was telling me about that one a while ago. Yeah, she's been writing about that one for a minute. She's like, I told you about, I told you about Mullen. I told you about Mullen. I'm like, all right, all <laughs> right, okay. 
BVIG going up? Is that? Yeah, that it is a little now? bit. It is coming up a little in the premium. I think it's up like 3%. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. If it breaks 320, then it'll be, it'll be fun times again for BVIG. Could be spicy. All right, guys. I'm out. Have yourself a good one. And don't forget to smash that freaking like button, you savages. Wait Thanks for, for popping boost. in, buddy. Have a good morning. I will. You guys too. Uh-oh. Oh, what? is it connected? I thought your mouse disconnected. Oh, no. I was charging it when you were coming on. It said like up here. It was like, oh, mouse about to die. And I was like, smart, oh, shit. Smart, smart, smart. I, I looked at that. And I was just like, did my mouse just disconnect? <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Later, buddy. Woo! All righty, folks. So. We're looking all right in the pre-market across the board. We got Ung and eh, chilling right around 16. Yeah, guys. Also, make sure you guys engage with the stream. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, helps out with the algorithm a whole lot. Let's see here. Uh, Amy coming up a little bit in the pre-market. We have five minutes until market opens, people. I hope you guys are ready. You need a house plant. That's kind of interesting. BBIG on the move. All right. Let's see what it's at in the pre-market over here. It was up 3% last time. Yeah. Uh, about 3% up in the pre-market. It's doing this barcode nonsense again. So watch out for that. Amy selling off a little bit in the pre-market up about one and a half percent right now. Uh, GME is up 3.21% over here. 121.86. SPY uh, up about 0.8% over here. Not looking too bad. Let's see. Pfizer going to dump it open. Oh, it could. It could, man. All right. So BBIG is coming up. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run to the bathroom really, really, really quickly, and then I'll be right back. I'm going to be like two seconds, all right? Be right back. All righty, folks. So we got three minutes until market open. Oh, my God. You guys making the jokes again? I'm missing the squeeze. All right. All right. All right. So, people, we got three minutes until market open. Uh, Let's see. Turn the mic up. We can't hear it. Okay. That's weird. That is weird. Uh, <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, spy, a little bit of a red candle over here. We got three minutes until market open. BBIG is coming up pretty big over here. Amy, little coming down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Benzy boy, thank you so much for the super. Let's see. He's running to the bathroom. <laughs> Love you, JK. Benzy boy. My bathroom's like literally right there. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> All right, people. All right, people. So, uh, BBIG moving up a little here in the pre-market GME flickering around a little bit. Uh oh, market dump now. I mean, it's a little red candle on the, on the spy. It's it, you're going to be fine. Uh, let's see here. What else are we looking at? UNG is natural gas starting to come up again. Ah, uh, it's chilling over here. Let's see what it's actually at over here. Oh yeah. Natural gas coming up pretty big. Uh, it's up 1.33%. You need BBIG to rock it today. There you go. What plays are you thinking today? Well, what's overstock doing? I mean, I kind of want, uh, we'll see what happens with overstock. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's up 29% in the pre-market over here. That thing is big. People think uh, XOM. Is Exxon running? Not bad. My nose is bleeding. I don't think so. You so I expected better. Yeah. Let's see. You so... I mean, you up half a percent. It's not really what you want, but oil's not really moving. Natural gas is. That's kind of why I'm going for natural gas because it's more of it's a it's been a bigger mover recently. Uh, we remember we heard the flush, but no faucet. No, you did hear it. My faucet is just quiet. All right, people, we got less than a minute to go here. It's almost ding 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 time. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. Help show your support of the channel. Uh, 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 uh here we go. Let's see. 
If you just put the computer in the bathroom, you never have to leave us. We finally know if you wash your hands. All right, Hugh, that is a good point. That is a good point. I could just bring you guys to the bathroom with me. Will I ever do that? Absolutely not. That's freaking weird. Oh, okay. So check the Peloton candle. Uh, oh, man. That's, they're selling that one over here. Let's see. Amy, 1675. Let's see if we can get above 17. Less than a minute to go, everybody. Here we go. All right. What's the news on SoFi? I think it's just moving up um, with the market. I haven't seen any news. All right. Ding, ding, ding. Market is open. Here we go, folks. Let's see. Spy, Flickery, AMC. 1680 in the in the market open over here. Ung, pretty much no volume over here yet. 1601. Uh, GME starting to move up a little bit here. 121.60. Let's see what happens with the SPY. Not a lot of volatility at open right here. Ung selling off a little bit. Uh, 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 I take you to the bathroom all the time. Why is that weird? Uh, because you aren't on camera. Uh, let's see here. SPY looking decent over here. Amy flickering. Let's see. Ung flickering as well. Where is natural gas actually right now? Uh, still looking solid over here. Exxon about the cross. Yeah, I may not. Hmm. Where's DraftKings? DraftKings Green. Oh, Amy Green Candle. Spy Green Candle. DraftKings looking all right over here. Uh, 1934, up 4% already. GME up 2.89%. Oh, 3% 2, 3 now. Uh, Amy coming up 1685. Spy's, getting, eh, Spy's not really moving a whole lot, but AMC's looking all right over here, folks. Woo! Washroom breaks are only permitted during your lunch break. Sorry. Palantir getting a candle. Uh, Eliza, thank you so much for the super. VW news yesterday. No such thing as a coincidence. What was it? Is it VWaggy? What did Volkswagen get? Uh, wants to launch possible, uh, wants to launch Porsche in pursuit of Tesla. Interesting. Oh, Amy getting some candles over here. 1691. All right, where's uh, Ung? How's Ung doing over here? Ung chilling at 1599 uh spy just kind of flick and not really doing a whole lot here but amy's looking good looking for that 1348 cross and then that move above the 200 ema whoa, 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 whoa. space big candle space big candle over here so space is now up seven percent over here not bad spy not really doing a whole lot right now so let's see what happens the hair is on point oh boy what have i done to it what have i done to it all righty Charge point running. There you go. I know some people want a charge point to get a little bit jumpy. Where's Micron AMD? Uh, Micron selling off here. Spy coming down a little bit. Amy coming down a little bit here. Where's Ung? Uh, here comes maybe Ung back to the upside. Uh, IMPP. Yeah, this one's up 35, 36%. We were looking at that one earlier. Spy not moving a whole lot over here. So Uber, what's up with Uber over here? uh cross down amy coming down a little bit here now 1670 spy eh, it's holding up pretty much right at the opening price space moon mission yeah maybe bkkt pop hard Yuso is Yuso so going mm, you is not having fun over here with ung ung is looking all right so let's see natural gas eh. did overstock halt i don't know Overstock did not halt. Uh, Amy, 1670, selling off a little bit here. Uh, spy flickering. Jimmy coming down to that 200 EMA. Let's see here. Uh, boom, boom on DWAC. Yeah, trying to get that cross up and cross above that 200 EMA over here. Let's see what happens. So if I cross down on the three minute. Sophie. Yeah, Sophie, Sophie coming down. Hmm. Wait till 10 a.m. to start trading. Biggest lesson I learned. Yeah, that's a good lesson. I mean, SoFi looks like it wants to come down. Most of the time, I just get head faked in the morning. So I'm going to wait a little bit just to kind of see. Oh, man. Hello, everybody. How we doing? Keep an eye out for Para today. Well, Para could make that move to the downside. So what I'm looking at on SPY is to move up and test this upper range here at 435.50. That's what I think it's going to do. If it rejects, puts all day long. That's how I'm viewing it here today. Qualcomm cross. It's about to. Qualcomm, nice big candle over here, but where's Micron? Micron's the one that I like. Oh, let's see what happens here. AMC coming back up, trying to get back above 17. Rejected right at that 200 EMA on the five minute.
Uh, Palantir, yeah, I like it long term. I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I'd trade it though. I mean, it's coming up here. Why does it say nothing on the chain? That's weird. Uh, oh, Amy, I saw that. Don't you try to sneak that by me? All right, Ung, how we looking? Uh, Ung, whoa, hold on. Alan here getting some candles at open over here. What are these Ung contracts doing? Uh, the Ungs didn't really come back to life. They didn't really move yet. So Spy, yeah, I think we're going to get this move up to this level over here. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for the super, buddy. Just subbed to the Discord this morning, even though your top five rappers were shaky at best. Mark, I appreciate that, buddy. Um, hopefully you find it useful. I know a lot of people are. Um, so Mark, what are your top five rappers? Oversock is volatile. I bet it is. Yeah, OSTK, 29% of the green. Amy flickering around. Spy flickering around again here as well. Uh, GME, 121 flat over here. Uh, you have a question. I drank three liquid IVs in two bangs last night, and I'm awake. Jesus, dude. Uh, let's see. Space just crossed and ripped it open. Yeah, space pumping. Maybe we'll get something on space. What are the premiums like on it, though? I don't know. There's no cross. This would just be momentum. I don't really want to do it. So I'm going to wait. AMD might cross down on the three minute looking weak. Yeah, Micron was looking like that too. AMD. Uh, oh, Spy coming down here a little bit. Spy red candle. AMD looks like it might cross down. Micron might have been the one though because it was already below that 200. Yep. Micron crossing and below this 200 EMA over here. And Spy is starting to move down here. So watch this on the chip makers. AMC 1672 over here. Uh, 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 all right, what's natural gas at right now? Uh, just kind of staying flat. AMC, 1670. Let's see what happens over here. Ford is pumping. Yep, Ford running for some reason. Lucid, how's Lucid doing? And Lucid did some stuff like this yesterday and head faked me. I didn't really like that. That was not very nice of them. Didn't mean to call out Yuso. My next week option is boom, boom. Oh, there you go. Uh, Well, where's Yuso right now? Yuso looking all right. Looking all righty over here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, everybody. Is it better to wait until a cross to happen after market opens? Um, yeah, that's that's when we look at it. Let's see here. Palantir looking good. Yeah, where is PLTR? Is it still running? And it's doing all right. Amy flickering around. Spy doing its thing over here. Where's oops? Where's Micron? Uh, still above that 200. GME, same thing over here as well. My top five rappers are Milky Way. Sni that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, MF Doom, Date, Kendrick, Eminem. There you go, Mark. That's not bad. 20% on AMC, 80% on space, Afros. There you go, buddy. Yeah, also, for everybody filtering in right now, make sure you guys uh, hit that like button on the stream, engage with the content, help get some more people in here watching Amy and getting to learn this 1348 stuff. Um, let's make everybody some money, huh? Let's see. Took Overstock for 1200 bucks. Aaron, there you go, buddy. So if I cross down. Yeah, so if I cross down, Spy Flicker. Amy coming back up. Here we go. Yep, boom, boom on Amy over here. What we're really looking for is this. Ah, here it is. New highs on Amy over here. We're looking for that cross above this 200 EMA on the five minute with a closing candle and then start to see it run to the upside. Disca cross soon. Yeah, I don't like Disca right now just because it's, it's, um, I would play Para is what I would do, but Para no cross. So Disca, you can only get the March contract. Oxy, what's up with Oxy? He puts again or Oxy calls? Oh, Oxy coming up. Where's Ung? Ung is just kind of holding here. Just kind of holding. All right. Let's see. Amy trying to get above that 200 EMA over here. Bank of America is going wild on the one minute. Well, yeah, this just looks... Oh, here comes Amy. 1701 on Amy is the new day high. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's flickering a little bit over here. Let's see. DraftKings going crazy. Yeah. 
Jesus. DraftKings is pumping. The oh, here comes the spy. Here comes the spy. All right, maybe I'll get a little, little tiny DraftKings. But then I just feel like I'm chasing. Like, what's crossing? Is anything crossing right here? I mean, DraftKings is up another 7%. Uh, let's see what happened to BBIG. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, it's just getting sold off over here. Amy still above that 200 over here. Let's see. Neo cross. Yeah, Neo cross. I'll take some Neo here. Like small. I play very, very small in the morning. Uh, it's coming right back down. Spy flickering back down too. Uh, I don't know. It actually hasn't crossed yet on the five minute. Interesting. So not yet on Neo. Is this a bull trap? I think it is. I think it's going to be a bull trap, but let's see. Let's check. All right. Amy, 1694. Today is my 35th birthday. Man, hey, if you get if we get above that 35.58% green, you know what happens. Uh you get oh, so Amy. Oh man. Oh man. Hold on. I might have to do a little bit of Amy calls over here. Might have to do it. Just a little baby one. I don't know. It looks good. Amy looks good right now. Aim C looks real good. Oh, if it can stay above this 200, it'll look good. We need that. We need that. All right, spy flicker in here. Neo back down. Ah, uh, Amy coming back down as well. Hit that like button, family. KB, appreciate that. Let's see here. Yeah, Neo did. Neo has not crossed yet. Uh, Micron. Micron coming down. Spy just kind of hanging out right around that 200 EMA. AMC showing some life. Yep, yep, yep. It's looking all right over here, folks. It's going to be fine unless Putin or Biden says something stupid today. Yeah, it's possible. 1776, let's go. That'd be great. NEO cross? What's NEO? Yeah, this cross. I don't know what this is, but that's interesting. AMC constipated? Yeah. Palantir? Yeah, I mean, it's coming back down. Spy's coming down now. Hold on, where's Micron? Yeah, I need that closing candle below this 200 EMA to get Micron puts if it's going to do it. EA cross on the five. MACD looks good. I honestly... Yeah, but it needs the it needs the closing candle above here. It hasn't done it yet. So I just let's see. What are we looking at here? I want micron puts, I think, today. At fake season, be careful. That's what I think. Oh, AMC looks red. It's it's up 2.3%. Let's see here. Uh spy flickering. Might get that 1348 cross to the downside over here. Micron just kind of chilling up 0.5%. AMC 1687. GME 122 flat. Where's Ung? Ung not doing anything yet, but what's natural gas doing right now? Not moving. So natural gas not moving. Ford calls look good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Ford's coming up. No cross though. Amy back down 1682. Spy flicker in here. Yeah, Ford looks good today, man. No cross though. So, can't touch it. SoFi pushing the lows. SoFi did get a cross, too. Yeah, SoFi crossing, coming down. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe a little Sophie. Let's see. All right, I got a little bit of SoFi just to kind of see. A little bit, little tiny bit. So let's see what happens over here with Micron. Micron selling off here again. Ford new high of the day. There you go. Uh, Spy is moving down here a little bit. Let's see. AMC, 1681. All righty, DraftKings pumping. Still, dude, it was up 7% the last time I looked at it. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean high of the day, 2007. Let's see. Where's SoFi? Here comes SoFi on the way down. PayPal crossing down, ready to hit the 200 DMA. Yeah, everything's starting to come down here. Here comes SoFi to the downside. 
para cross in the 200 you so cross interesting all right the so are up a little bit they're up two percent so let's see what happens with these so far coming down spy touching the 200 yep para on a mission yeah para was on a mission earlier Watch it, though, because Spy could just start selling off, and then Para just gets shark fin. So, very, yeah, Spy touching the 200 EMA. That's what I see here on Weeble. Um, what was I looking at? SoFi? Uh, SoFi didn't like it. Let's see what happens over here. Overstock up 32%. There you go. There you go. All right, let's see. SoFi bouncing back up here. Ooh, Spy coming back up. Interesting. So, we have this cross on SoFi. I'm probably going to leave these here a little bit. GM is up. Yeah, Ford and General Motors are up. Yeah, Ford's coming up here too. Uh, Yuso cross. Yeah, where's Yuso? Let's see here. Yeah, you no cross on Yuso, but where's Ung? Ung chilling. Where's natural gas? Yeah, looking good over here on natural gas. Let's see how that plays out. Amy sixteen seventy seven over here. Spy coming up. GME one twenty two flat. You were looking up Yuso. No, I know. USO right here. Right here. No cross. DraftKings is DraftKings a play today? It's kind of already moved and there's no cross on it. So unless you want to chase it and YOLO it, I mean you can, but it's gonna be a little bit risky. Where's SoFi right here? Probably coming up. Yeah, SoFi coming up a little bit here. I'm gonna hold these puts for a little bit, see what happens. Quick 60% gain on OSTK in and out 15 minutes. Jeez, Rivian, holy doom doom. Hold on. Rivian crossing down and moving, moving. Oxy five minute, 200 crossed up. All right. So we might see these commodity plays come back to life. Yeah. Ox, no cross though. Uh, natural gas. Uh, natural gas is coming up. This could be good. Oxy had its upper cross in pre-market. Yeah, exactly. Can't, can't really play that. So spy moving up here a little bit. Amy coming up here a little bit. We're so far. So 47, nah, 49 coming up here a little bit. Thanks SCV. Anytime guys, anytime. Uh, 23% on overstock calls. Thanks to you guys teaching me the EMA. There you go, buddy. All right. What are we looking at here? Ung. Ung should start to get a little bit jumpy here. So let's see what happens with it. Yeah. Ung. I mean, natural gas is up 1.38%. Space. Do uh, space don't care. Yep. There goes space. Spy back down. Is that a fat George W on the spy? On what time frame? Yeah, uh, we're so fine now. Going back down, DraftKings. DraftKings has been really good. I mean, we didn't get it yesterday, but that one was dirty. So look at this. It's up 7% today. It was up 7% yesterday. That's huge. Ian, what's up, buddy? Hit the like for the homie has to be. I appreciate that, man. Uh, GLD, is it coming up? Uh, starting to move over here. Starting to move. All right, so let's see. AMC, 1676 over here. Uh, Ung. Chilling, chilling. BBIG, how's Biggie doing? Uh, selling off here. Let's see. Yeah, also, if you guys do want uh, free access to the Discord for this week, um, make sure you guys go check out, sign up for the premium. You can cancel before March 1st. Uh, but again, if you do want to see what it's all about, uh, you will get those two live streams. So we'll do another one on Sunday, another one on Monday. Um, and then you get access to all of the alerts. We're also loading up two th the 2,000 stocks in the Russell 2000 for the daily timeframes uh, if you guys can't trade options. So we have something for everybody in there. Uh, Lucid crossed. Yeah. I think I think if the, if the spy breaks down here, this could be nasty. Like this could get nasty on the spy. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Spy moving down. Yeah, here comes Lucid on the way down. New lows on Lucid. Where's SoFi? New lows yet on this thing? Not yet, but SoFi looks like it wants to come down a little bit here. So let's see what happens with this. BKKT cross down. Uh, signed up and keeping it. Thanks, my man. Jose, welcome, buddy. Let's see. All right, what do we got here? Big move on the one minute on what, Martin? Bid higher than the ask on E-Trade level two. How? Uh, it's probably a glitch. Oh, Lucid had recall news. You're right. You are right. I forgot about that. So SPY is kept very, very tight in this range so far today. So you may not see a lot of volatility today. It could be a day where we just sit out. Now, 
Again, it's still very, very early. We could see the market get very, very volatile. DraftKings over 20. There you go. We're doing big things. Yes, we are. Spy uh, reacting to all Black Swan events is for me just an excuse for the hedge funds to create a valuation reset for tight socks, Apple, Microsoft. Eh, maybe. Take a look at Apple. It crossed. Yeah, Apple crossed and moving down here. Hmm. SoFi puts in the green. Spy's not breaking this 200 yet, though. It doesn't want to do it. <sighs> yeah, Apple crossed and moving down. Maybe a little Apple trade. Little baby Apple. Where's Ung? Where's Ung? Ung looking all right. Apple looks like it wants to come down. Yeah, here comes Apple. So little tiny Apple trade coming in over here. Tiny, 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 tiny. So SPY now down below that 200. Where's SoFi? SoFi moving down. Amy coming down. SPY looks like it's coming down below this 200 over here. It's looking like it wants to come down. Would I touch space? Not Oxy up 2.5%. Oxy looking all right over here. Ung, natural gas. Natural gas holding. Not really doing a whole lot here. Here we go, folks. Things are starting to move now. Spy's getting a big candle to the downside. Let's see. Apple. Apple, a little bit of a green to red move over here. Tesla crossed down heavy. Ho, 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 ho. Breaking news. Uh, UK uh, expecting full invasion within 48 hours. It's not ideal. All right. 10% on the SoFi puts. Apple puts are flat right now. So I went very, very small early today. I'm probably just going to hold these for a little bit. If I lose a little bit, it's going to be fine. Oil is moving higher. Yeah, where's the crude? A eh, little bit, little bit. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Yeah, Apple coming down a little here. Yeah, Spy's moving down again. Yeah, here we go. Spy to five hundred at the end of the month. All right. What's it? What's what is it with all these Spy five hundred people? You guys are wild. Uh, rubbish. More fear. Yep. Should have played them space earnings. No, you could have gotten space at open. Uh, the IV would have probably busted you up a little bit on space. What's space doing now? You could have gotten those contracts at open. Like space was not up a whole lot. It was at eight. Now it's at nine. So space was a dud until market open. Spy moving down still over here. SoFi, what are we looking at on this? It's coming down slowly. Not really too fast though. Apple, there it is. Putin's on spy. Hey, Squirrel, what are you doing, buddy? You getting some puts? Ooh. 7% ooh. on the apples already. There we go. KC, KGC. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, gold. I mean, that could be all right over here. Uh, UNG, 16 flat. Could the spy? No, stop with the spy 500 stuff, people. What is this nonsense? No, it cannot. You got in and out of SoFi, 6%. There you go. A win's a win. Let's see. Mine are up about 6 7% right now. The Apples are up 5 Uh SPY moving down again here, though. Where's SoFi? SoFi. Ooh, here we go. So SPY is still in the green, but it can easily come down into the red. Apple. Apple selling pretty decently. SPY puts LFG. There you go. I mean, good luck with them. Uh, Amy coming down, 1666 over here. Also, for everybody filtering in right now, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. Helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Um, get some more people in here. This market's crazy. So, I mean, put yourself in the best spot that you can to make some money. Let's see. Yeah, here comes SoFi on the way down. 23% minus 1%. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm playing Apple today just because it, I think it can move a little bit more. And um, I don't know. Uh, I, I think SPY can, yeah, SoFi. I mean, we can get some more uh, momentum momentum on like SoFi and Apple, I think, if things really start to come to the downside. Apple, what's going on here? Apple selling. Those are up 10%. SoFi's are up 13%. Not bad. Waiting for AMD for confirmation, but it's dropping. Yeah. All right, I kind of already have my puts. I mean, Micron probably already did it. Yeah, Micron was the one. Damn, I was, wa damn it, I wanted that. I was hunted Micron this morning, and then, nope, I just missed it over here. Uh, 
All right. Let's see. I'm going to leave this how it is right now. If we start to see some things move a little bit later, maybe I'll add to some of these contracts that I have. Uh, Micron coming down, Spy coming down. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit to these apples. All right, got one. I'm going to add a little to the SoFi too. I think where's SoFi right here? Well, I want to see this candle. Where's SoFi? Yeah, SoFi coming down. All right, got a few more SoFi's. Let's see what happens with this. So slowly scaling into some of these. Apple trying to bounce you a little bit. Spy's trying, but it's not looking too good. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, where is uh, the Ungs are still down pretty good. Let's see. UNG. All right. Let's see. Spy trying here. Multiple Ukrainian government websites under cyber attack. Oh, God. Apple and Micron going down for completely different reasons and dragging the spy down with them. Yeah. Ung trying to pop here. Micron still selling hard. I mean, Micron was a freaking winner out of these. I wanted that one too. About to have a spy cross down. It already crossed down and it's below the 200. So you do have all of the little indicators that you would need for it to start uh, triggering 1348. Unless you're on a, I'm looking to join your 1348 EMA Discord. Is there anything I should look into or learn beforehand? Yeah, Ian. Uh, so once you join the Discord, uh, watch those videos on Gabe Review Dork's channel. They're all linked in the Discord too. And you can go in and watch those live streams once you sign up for premium. So they're available to all the premium members. Um, so all, it's all the it's all the live streams with all of us just talking about like the strategy, how we were doing things, everything going on with the market too. 41%, 18%. There you go, buddy. All right, let's see. My current coming back up. Apple, how's this doing? Apple bouncing a little here. Let's see what happens with the SPY. Spy going to pop. Spy 1348 and something to 200. Not hopping in. No. I already have Apple and SoFi. Uh, SoFi. Hopping a little bit here. But, I mean, this is one green candle on the Spy. I think it could easily come back down. Lucid puts printing. Showtime. There you go. Love to see that. All right. Lu I mean, Lucid probably was printing pretty good. Yeah, those are some big candles on Lucid. You could have gotten this here, uh, 2557 all the way down here. Those are good. All right, let's check. On, where's natural gas right over here? Let's check the, uh, yeah, just kind of holding. Trading view is lagging compared to Weeble tech issues. Interesting. Micron puts printing. Dude, I, I freaking wish I got the Micron. That's what I was looking at in the morning, and I just never got them. Uh, Apple. Back down. SoFi. SoFi coming down to the low. You got a spy strangle going into today. Let's see what happens. There you go. All right, let's see. All right, the Apple contracts are down half a percent. The SoFi's are up six. Let's see what we got over here. All right, folks, let's see. We got spy flicker and sofi down at the low over here amy coming down so far i have puts on so far up eleven hundred dollars on dng twenty dollar call DraftKings. i'm guessing let's see all right spy popping in here a little bit apple come back up a little tiny bit let's see uh can you zoom in on the candles for amc of it yeah that's a that's the most i can zoom in on it spy doesn't want to cross down it already crossed down spy already crossed down right here so the blue line crossed below the uh Red line over here. Can you sell a put at any time? Yes. Did you get puts on the spy? No. Not yet. I could, though. It, there's still time. <laughs> All right. Apple just flickering around here. So far, how's this looking? It bounced up a little bit. Spy to touch 436 today. It might at the upper end of this range right here, like 435.50. It could. It easily could also just sell off. Tons of puts on AMC now. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, spy down. Where's Apple? DraftKings having a go. Is it? Is it really going? It doesn't care about the market. Damn, man. Oh, Amy coming down. Amy just went into the red, down about two cents. Ah, uh, it's pretty much flat over here. 
Yeah, DraftKings is still pushing. This is gnarly. This DraftKings moves is insane. Mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, these puts are probably going to be good right here. Yeah, I might add a couple to these apples. Oh, well, that's decent. I like that. I like these position sizes right here. The I'm comfortable with these. SoFi. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's see what happens with the spy over here on this candle. We got a minute left. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh. Let's see. All right. New candle. Uh, spy coming down. SoFi. There it goes. SoFi. Little red to, or green to red move over here. Apple. Let's see what we're going to get. All right. 10% on the SoFi. 15% on the Apple. Here comes Apple to the downside over here. This is a big move on Apple. 21% right now on these weekly spies coming down here. All righty. Lucid just went below 25. Jesus. Lucid broke support. There you go. Anybody with the Lucid put? I mean, the Micron puts are probably the winner right now. Um, Let's oh Apple little green red move over here. SoFi. Yeah, SoFi at the low. Yeah, here comes SoFi. 18% on the SoFi, 16% on the apples. Let's see what happens here. Uh uh uh, uh spike across down on the 30 minute. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh no, it already crossed on the 30 minute, but everything is saying, like if you look on the hourly, it uh it doesn't look. I mean, it's gonna Mac D. Yeah, Mac D just crossed on the 30 minute, five minute, it's pretty red. Uh SoFi's coming down here. Apple, how's this looking? Uh, it's coming back up a little here, but SoFi's bleeding. Let's see here. Uh, AMC right now, 1639, just kind of chilling over here. All right, let's see. Spy looks a little bit selly. SoFi. AMD puts look good. Hold on, let me look at this. Yeah, these SoFi puts look nasty. All right, so SoFi puts are looking good. Apple, how's this doing? Apple back down. Amy, 1640 over here. Spy flickering to the downside. Squirrel, you're probably crushing it on those puts over there. Good job, buddy. AMD puts look good. Yeah, did it cross? Yeah, AMD coming down a little here. What are these contracts at? <laughs> Oh, baby. Here comes the spy. Man, these puts are kind of printing right now. So let's see what happens with the Apple. 31% uh, on Apple puts, 23% on SoFi. So spy is moving down here. We got SoFi coming down. Yeah. All right. 10 minute spy cross. There you go. 58%, 32%. There you go, squirrel. Tesla's dying. PayPal puts printing. Boom. Oh, here comes the SoFi. Boom. Here we go, people. Making money today so far. I love it. I love it. Put season. Yep. Time for an Ortex update. Gotcha. Let's see. 20.95% estimated short interest. 1.22 million borrowed shares. 1.45% average cost to borrow. Oh. 31% so five. 20, 31% so five. 31% Apple. There you go. Uso's booming. Uso coming up big. Ung, natural gas. Ung is looking like it wants to come back to life over here. There we go. Is there breaking news or spy just falling? I think there was just some news about like more, more Ukraine no news coming through. So I think Apple popped a little here. And it came back up a little. GME selling off now. Still in the greed, but 119.64. Mm -mm -mm. all right we're gonna break below 800 on tesla yeah all right two minutes till a new candle apple coming back up sofi sofi bleeding out over here hit the like people thank you appreciate that yeah guys as you're filtering in make sure you guys hit that like button helps get some more people in here making money on some puts right now you have sofi shares in my ira stop being so freaking excited at my pain Hey, I'm just making money over here, you know? Just doing my best. You bought Wells Fargo puts? Okay, 1348 cross, down below the 200 EMA. Could be good. Lucid. Oh, man, are you crushing it on that? 
Oh, you are banking on Lucid right now, Showtime. There you go. All right, where's AMC right here? 16.37, down about 10 cents. Eh, holding up nicely. Uh, uh, 1.46% in the green on Jimmy over here. Spy trying to work its way back up here a little tiny bit, but uh, let's see. Apple, what's going on with you? Ooh, Apple just went back into the green after this pretty big candle over here. So let's flicker this to the one minute, see how it's looking. Okay, so what Apple's doing is it's doing these 13 EMA tests on the one minute. Now it could come up and test this and just shoot right back down. What's the Spy doing? Well, let's see. Spy? Hasn't done it yet, but it looks like it could. So Apple doing this little test over here. SoFi, what are you looking like? On the one minute, hasn't done it yet. Oh, here comes the spy back down. New candle. All righty, people. Ortex, I literally just did it. Let's scroll back like 30 seconds. Uh, the Ortex, it's not... It, so we're at like almost 21% estimated short interest. Um, but other than that, the utilization is kind of nonsense. Um... And that's that's kind of where we're at with it. Apple back red. So far, was that support? Yeah. Nvidia coming down. Wait, where's Micron? That coming down again a little here. Let's see. Spies just slowly getting walked down. All right. Where's TLT? Okay, coming back up here. UVXY. Uh, UVXY cross and coming up here. So watch out below on the spy coming up over here. Where is Apple? Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, says the new guy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? All right. So let's see here. Amy selling off here. 1630 spy. Same difference over here. Apple flickering. So far. Yeah, coming back down. Spy puts four thousand percent. Says AM Seven. Jesus, I'm getting interesting. Hopefully to the upside. I'm just trying. Where's natural gas right now? Not moving a whole lot. Oil is slowly making its way up, but natural gas is not really moving. You so please. I'm out with open contracts. Where's you so? Coming. You so's looking good. Spy moving down a little. Where's Apple? uh spy in about the most bearish chart it could be in people buying are delusional yeah i mean it doesn't look good where's uvxy yeah uvxy looks like it wants to get a little jumpy here gme right around 120 119.76 so amy coming down spy starting to move down a little bit here four yeah dude four thousand percent on spy puts jesus 600 percent on spy puts you guys are crushing it dude all right 30 percent on sofi puts 16 percent on apple puts right now uh, here comes the spy and UVXY. Apple, I'm going to need you to really tank here. Uh, here comes spy on the way down, looking like it wants to make a new low over here. You so? <clears throat> it's getting up there. Where's Ung? Ung not really moving today. Interesting. Spy red candle down. Yeah. All right. Um. Hmm. What are we looking at here? What did I want? SoFi. All right. I think I have the $10 puts on SoFi. I think that's what I got. Yeah, I'm up 32% on those, 23% on Apple. There we go. All right. Spy moving down again here. Let's see what happens with SoFi. Um, Apple. There we go. Ho oh, ho! <clears throat> Keith, thank you so much for the super, buddy. I appreciate that. That was a big one, dude. Thank you. Morning, SV. Watched the member live stream last night. The use of MACD and RSI indicators in conjunction with 1348 has been a game changer this morning. It gives me more confidence to hold or sell. All green this morning. Keith, there you go, buddy. Spy coming down. Apple coming down. I mean, these puts are printed right here. So let's see what we get. Oh, man. This is looking good. Making some money over here. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right. Uh, global debt levels rise to more than $303 trillion in 2021, up $10 trillion year over year. That's not good. All right. Spy coming down here. So is SoFi. Apple. Yeah. Apple approaching that low. Let's see. 
Why don't I ever get notifications? No, no, no. Okay, so the new guy, the the live streams at night are for uh the private, the premium members of the Discord. If you're if you're in there, uh, Showtime, Lucid, LFG. There you go, man. Everybody's printing with these thirteen forty eight plays right here on the downside. I know. Look at this. This is textbook thirteen forty eight right here. Cross down below the two hundred. You get this candle over here, and it just sells printing money over here people so if you guys do want alerts on all of the 1348 crosses you can get a free trial essentially this week so make sure you guys check out the uh, premium part of the discord you can cancel before march 1st but definitely go check that out everybody is printing today Forty percent on apple puts mine are probably around there too uh 20 i'm up 29 percent on apple puts right here loose yeah it's probably trying to come up a little bit your uso call is gonna hit i don't have uso calls i have ung i have i have natural gas it's starting to come up here a little bit which is nice uh i don't have you so i had usos for last week i let those expire worthless Printing on Wells Fargo puts guys, it doesn't get much easier than this. See, this is, this is why we like the 1348. You guys uh, like, come on. There's people out there that are like, Oh, it's not working, bro. Come on. Look at this. Everybody's printing in the chat today. If you're using 1348 green candle. All right. Little tiny green over here. Made a quick $20 in four minutes on one spy put. Great. 1348. Boom. Exactly. So if you guys want all the alerts, it literally just gives you a view of the market. It's well, I think we're alerting on like 300 stocks, a bunch of cryptos now, and we're adding uh 2000 all 2000 stocks of the Russell for the daily time frame. Just go test it out for a week. Just go test it out. Uh ung. Ung coming up now. There we go. SoFi. A little pop. Apple. Ah, things look like they're gonna come down they use it incorrectly somehow i don't know how i mean you just gotta follow the rules um some people you can get head faked a lot sometimes block that drama got no time for it we're printing dude we are so spies moving down here again amy trying to get a little bit of a candle back to the upside apple trying going to join the discord today phil would love to have you in here in there buddy tlt coming up yeah where's uvxy uh uvxy starting to come up here a little bit tlt uh, tlt starting to make a move watch spy start to get a little bit selly do you watch the interview with the fund manager video i sent you last night about those two with t i did not ryan i've been super busy dude i gotta i gotta i gotta get on that uh also guys make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too we're printing today if you guys are making money make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream just helps out with the algorithm get some more people in here we just want to see people printing people uh spy moving back down here Hello, Vix. Lee, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Good to see you in here, Lee. Printing squirrel puts. Yeah. All right, let's see. One minute on the spy. Hasn't come up to test it on the 13 yet, Apple. Probably testing the 13 over here. Yeah, Apple coming up and testing the 13. How are you printing? Can you explain in a simple way? We literally just used this 1348. Crosses down, start to buy some puts, and then the puts go up. So far, on the one minute, chilling right around that 13 EMA. Spy trying to come back up here a little bit. Is it testing it here yet? Yeah, so Spy's testing this 13 EMA on the one minute. So that's so. here's the other thing that you guys can do with 1348. Flicker it around on different time frames to get a confirmation of like what you're doing. So we just got some re a rejection at the 13 EMA on the one minute chart. Now, what's it going to do here? Is it going to come back down or is it going to blow right through? That's what you really got to look for right here. Uh, ADAII, thank you so much for that. Super, I appreciate that. Do you use leverage for crypto and what platform do you use for trading crypto? I don't personally trade crypto, um, but with a lot of people, they do use leverage for crypto. I think you can get like 10X on it um, with crypto. You got to be careful with it though because it is going to be super, super volatile. Um, let's see. I But I personally am not trading crypto right now. I kind of want to though. All right, so see, Spy's kind of hanging right around this this 13 EMA over here. Where's Apple on the one minute? It's probably blowing up a little bit through it to the 225. Yep, right here. So you can kind of see where things are about to go. So what I kind of do here is if it starts to part cross this and get some momentum to the upside, like Spy's not really doing this very strong right here. If we start to see Apple start to come up to this 48 EMA, then I flicker it to the one minute or the five minute and start to look at that if it's really going to get momentum up to the 13 and then I just get out. 
Uh, let's see. I think you do 100x leverage on KuCoin. That's pretty wild. All right. So here's this spy candle right here. It closed above the 13 EMA on the one minute, but it's coming back down a little bit. It's kind of flickering here. Let's see what happens with it. Is it going to come back up? Is it going to come back down? What's going to happen? Uh, no lie. I doubted a lot of strategies, but when I chilled and saw the chat, absolutely killing it, everybody in here is making money. This is where it's at, dude. Exactly. Like the, the thing is, is like, I, I typically see here's, here's the thing in why our discord is lit their hands down. You're not going to find anything else like this. Every other discord, most likely the ones that I have seen, what happens is, is that the analysts are literally just coming through and just being like, I'm entering this trade right here. I'm selling this trade that I entered right here. You're not learning anything. You literally learn zero. You're just following somebody else and you're depending on somebody else to make you money. That's not helpful to anybody. It's not helpful. So ours, it's not buy and sell alerts at all. It's you're seeing the strategy. We teach you the strategy. All right, spy's looking good here again. Um, you, we teach you the strategy. And then when you, when you have all of the alerts, it's literally just turbocharging everything with the 1348 and just saying, here, here is everything where it's crossing here. Here it is. But then you are like, okay, so we all we're doing is we're teaching you the strategy and then giving you a tool to make it 10 times easier to find them. So Spy's moving down here a little bit. Spy got rejected on the one minute. Exactly. So Ung is coming up here a little bit. Where are these Ung contracts? Uh, not really doing a whole lot right now. 31% on SoFi, 19% on Apple. Uh, Spy moving back down here. I mean, this is on the one minute. I don't really want that anymore. I want this on the five. So, Apple. Yeah, Ung is starting to come up here a little bit. Can we get an AMC or text? Of course you can. Uh, so, let's see over here. Utilization, 100%. 1.45% average cost to borrow. 20.96% estimated short interest. Uh, net borrow today of 539,000 shares. Uh, 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 took $600 profit on my spy puts. Boom. There you go. All right. Apple still kind of in the green over here. Where is it at? On the, is it coming down to this 13? Yeah. It broke this 13 on the one minute again. So I'm staying in these puts for a little while. On the five minute, the spy doesn't really show any signs of this MACD really trying to curl around. Let's see. So Apple contracts. Oh, shoot. Hold on. SoFi. SoFi getting candles over here. Oh, baby. These are up 53% right now on the SoFi contracts. Woo! Here we go. Took 21% on Apple. There you go. I'm still staying in a lot of this stuff because nothing's really telling me to get out. Nothing yet. So Apple. I mean, the Apple's honestly a little weak. I was expecting a little bit more out of the Apple. I wish I got the Microns instead of the Apple, but they're still good. 52-week lows for SoFi. Mm, that's actually really interesting. Uh, 52 week, 52 week low is 10 Oh five. So that's, if it breaks this, it's going to get really selly. Yeah. SoFi is nasty. This SoFi trades nasty so far. 57% on SoFi. Boom, bro. SoFi puts just blew up. Went from zero up now 20%. There you go. New low for the spy. Yep. All right. Here comes SoFi. Watch it at 10 Oh five. That's the 52 week or it's the new 52 week low. I think, um, if it breaks that again and starts selling, watch it below 10. Uh, so spy right here might come back up to the 13. We might see this whole thing again with the spy today where it just like comes up, test the 13 on the one minute or the five and just sells off again. Uh, so far, let's see 61% on so far puts Jesus disco puts. No guys, again, make sure you guys try out that free part. Uh, the, the free trial, of the discord Go sign up for premium, learn this strategy. It, it's going to help you. The whole thing is like, learn the strategy after you get in, you can implement it for yourself. You can leave. You, you don't have to stay in there. But we would love to have you just so you can learn it and then implement it for yourself. I'm only up 11% on these freaking Apple puts. Hey. Hey. All right. Spy's doing this little test on the one minute again. So far, back down. Apple. Uh, maybe I trim some of these apples soon. Yeah, Apple. Not the biggest fan of these apples. AMC is going to collapse. Well, where's Amy right now? It's at 1633. If Spy's going to keep flickering around like this, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's see over here. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Spy didn't like it. 
Uh, Apple's coming back to life over here. Let me see where it's at on the one minute. If it's doing this 40. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to watch this at the 48 EMA right here uh, on these apples. Every day I make way more than the cost of the Discord is all. I'll stay in. Rogue civilian. There you go, buddy. That's the thing. Like, you're going to make a lot more. Um, yeah, here comes Spy back down. Apple selling a little bit here. 57% on SoFi puts. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Overstock puts printing. There you go. Watch out for the scam links. In the there's scam links in the disc. No, there's not. Un getting a boom boom. <laughs> no. Oh, baby. Uh oh, oh. GME's coming down. App, uh, Spy's getting a little sell off. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. That's on the one minute. Yeah, five minute candle, new low. Here we go. All right, SoFi, it's your time to shine on the way down. Right, it's not doing it yet. Not doing it yet. Spy calls? Not yet. Up 50% on spy puts. There you go. Uh, about how many different positions do you think you can effectively hold to drill down and keep it on? Uh, two or three. Let's see here. Uh, the new guy. Thank you so much for the super, buddy. Hey, SV, how many lives do you guys have? And can the recordings be accessed on Discord? Uh, so we do a bunch of live streams. Um, we're, we do about two a week, but it's usually like six to eight uh, every single month, just in case we can't do it um, one day. So like it, like when the Super Bowl happened and it was Super Bowl and then Valentine's Day. Um, so... What what we do is we we do them on Sundays and Mondays, and then they're unlisted, so they're private in the Discord. So you have to go in the Discord and and view them. Uh, UVXY crossed up. There you go. Uh, UVXY coming down a little bit here. Spy starting to move up a little bit. Where is it on the? All right, coming up to test this thirteen again. Yeah, UVXY coming down to its thirteen. TLT crossing up. Yeah, spy calls will make us rich. Says Mac attack. Or if it keeps selling off, it's going to make you very, very poor. <laughs> so let's see. Where's Apple here? Huh. Okay. Apple. SoFi. Yeah, SoFi bouncing up here. I mean, these are on the one minute over here. On the five minute, they still look really good. So that's SoFi on the five. Apple on the one. Or Apple on the five still looks good. Mac keeps curling, though. So we'll see what happens with this. Oh, got my come up. Mm. Here we go on Ung. All right, I'm still down a little bit on these Ungs. Uh, you're in the premium, but I never get the notifications while I was looking for the live yesterday. I couldn't find anything. Hmm, make sure you have your notifications on. Like, how are you getting the Discord notifications when the live when the plays go out? All right. Spy again, rejected on this one minute here. Watch for a new low. Unless it wants to start coming back up. I appreciate you. I have a stupid question. Is IMAX and Cinemark in the Spy? I'm not sure. They, I don't think they would be. I don't think they would be. It's possible, but I don't think so. Uh, ooh, so far, a little bounce here. Come on. Ung. Jack Kings. Yeah, looking good. All right. Squirrel, what are you seeing on the spy right now? I think with these little tests that it's doing, I mean, MACD might start to curl here. It might be time to exit. Let's see. 1348 newbie up 20% on Uber puts. There you go. Uncalls or stock? I have calls on it. Yeah, so watch this spy test right here. This is the first one that we've kind of seen. Uh, Apple. Mm, not bad. First profitable put on Wells Fargo. G4 you trading. There you go. All right, let's see. It's testing is pre market low, acting as support. Okay, that's fair. All right, let's see what happens here. Apple. Where's it on the one? Coming down. Where's it on the 30? Yeah, or is it on the one hour? MACD. All right, MACD looks like it could cross down on Apple on the one hour. I might stay in these. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
How can people talk about stocks other than AMC and GME? If they can do this to the most bought stock last year, they can do this to any stock. That's why I'm only interested in AMC and GME for now. Tommy Lee, you're missing out on a giant opportunity. All right, here comes Spy back down on the one minute. Apple holding though. SoFi, what's it looking like over here? SoFi holding. Amy, 1630. Uh, here comes Spy back down. Spy rejected. Yep, took SoFi puts at 54% after bouncing off the 52 week low, still holding Apple puts. Yeah, I think if the Spy gets some big candles and starts making lows, I think SoFi could fall below 10. That's kind of what I'm looking at on it. It's 10 more cents. It's not that big. Does Spy look like it's curving on the one minute? Yeah, no, not anymore. <laughs> New lows on the SPY over here. All right, hold on. Yeah, SPY selling off pretty hard now. Oh, that's a candle. That's a candle over there on SPY. I agree, Tommy Lee. It used to be all about AMC and Jimmy. It's not about money. Joanne, you're wrong. You are 100% guaranteed wrong. Um, we're sitting here waiting for AMC and Jimmy, and all these people are in here making a bunch of gains with small amounts of money, um, and it allows them to feel more comfortable holding their AMC and GME position. If you're going to sit here and be like, oh, there's things moving and and the stocks are going down, I can make a bunch of money with puts, and you're going to be like, no, it's not about money. I'm not going to make money. You're doing it completely wrong. You so ugly. Uh-oh, what happened with you so? I mean, you so came down a little bit. How's Ung? I mean, Spy is really selling. Oh, Spy selling. I mean, this, this could get gnarly over here. Apple, here we go. Here we go. You went, uh, we're so far. Here we go. 53% on SoFi, 30% on Apple. Uh, you're taking my gains and putting it into AMC. There you go, buddy. That's what we want to see too. Get yourself some more dry powder. All right, Amy selling off a little bit. 16, 16. Spy coming down here. That's your opinion. No, Joanne, it is not an opinion. It is, it is like, I, maybe this is just the way I think. I do not understand how we can just put out a strategy like this. And, and you're just going to be like, no, I don't want to make money. It's not logical. It's, it's just not logical. Let's see. How's TLT? Let's see. Uh, TLT is on the way up here. Spy's coming down again. Amy's going to get dragged down with the spy. Might as well make some money on the downside. Wow, it's selling off. Yuso, silly. No, no, no. I did check Yuso. Yuso's right here. Yuso sold off a little bit. Jimmy coming down. Spy new lows. All righty. Let's see. Apple posts 33%. SoFi posts 53%. There you go. Let's see. I'm saying if that it's just your opinion about making money. It's about holding like it always has for diamond hands. Joanne, literally nobody is saying not to hold. We are literally saying make money, make your life better. That's that's what it is. All right. You so coming up here a little bit. Ung getting a little spicy. Yeah, Ung is getting spicy now. I like this. 236% uh, on spy puts. Damn it. Stop it. You're missing it again. I have, I already put you so up there so many times. Why are you guys doing this to me? I throw it up there many, many, many times. All right. What are we at now? 42% uh, on Apple puts, 53% on SoFi. Where, SoFi, what are you doing? Why aren't you selling off more here? Come on, get down there. All right. Spy flickering down at these lows over here. We will never agree on this. Joanne, you're literally asking for BBIG or tax all the time. How, how you're just being hypocritical now. Okay. U S O United States oil. This is you. So stop it. <laughs> oh, it's buy down again. What are these apples at? 42%, 57% on SoFi. There we go. Keith, thank you so much for the super, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, and you just taught me how to move between time frames as well to check all the indicators. Mind blown. Bank account growing. Keith, love to see it, buddy. That's what we're here for. All right. Apple, Apple candle, SoFi, SoFi. Bro, SoFi is disappointing right now. Very disappointing. Keith, thank you so much for that super, buddy. SoFi coming to 10? I think so. Let's see here. Palantir just crossed under the 200 on the three minute. Ooh, right. 
Apple coming down. Okay, you guys are being weird. You guys are being weird today. Spy puts up 90%. Jesus. Gold running. Yeah, spy coming down. No vibe. What are you doing? All right, spy on the one minute. Eh. Let's see. Love making money with SCB. Anna, appreciate that. The big move on so far already happened. Not a lot more downside on it, in my opinion. I just think it's still, it's two cents off the low. Like if it breaks it, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see what happens when it breaks this low. Here it is. It's getting close. DraftKings calls up 226%. Boom. There you go. Also, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. Just helps out a whole lot with the algo. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Spy back down. All right. Let's see what we got here. 1348 strategy literally has no negative impact on AMC. You mean buy and hold it as only positive. Exactly. Oh, you guys are annoying. You guys are annoying me today at the USO. Oh, 1005 on SoFi. Watch what happens if it breaks. Spy coming down pretty hard here. Let's see. Can you trade UVXY without being a day trade? It's not futures. It's UVXY is not futures. Sixty-two percent on SoFi, forty-six percent on Apple. Dude, SoFi does not want to break it. It is so close, though. Spy to four twenty, and it's close. UVXY waking up. Yeah, Spy moving down. Where's Apple? Uh, Apple on the way down, fifty percent on Apple puts. Here we go, people. SoFi thirteen about the cross build to forty eight on the fifteen minute. Oh, that could get. I might be waiting for that. Honestly, just more momentum. Uh, fifteen. I mean, where's it on the thirty? Nope. Uh, it already did on the fifteen minute. Oh, it hit ten oh four. SoFi hit ten oh four. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see. Boil up 7.2%. How's Ung? Ung still looking all right over here. Your spy puts are up 100%. Damn, I should have went with the spy puts today, huh? 62% on SoFi, 42% on Apple. I mean, I'm happy with it so far. On the one minute, how's this looking? <laughs> it's super weak. Uh... A lot of really good news came out recently for SoFi. BlackRock recently went deep. I can't imagine it dumps much harder. Where's that now? I, I mean, it just depends on what the market's going to do. That's really all it is. It just depends on what the market's going to give it. Where's Spy going to bounce? 426.50 if it keeps coming down. All right. It's probably coming up testing the 13 again. Uh, Amy down 1.5%. Ukraine's foreign minister, United Nations, has done little to condemn Russia's occupation of Ukrainian territory. SoFi's holding right around the low. Spy rejected right around the 13 again. Spy 422 put, 114%. Boom. That's what we like to see out of you guys over there. Freaking printing. All right, 62% on SoFi, 36% on Apple. Let's see what we get over here. DraftKings broke out. Is it still freaking going with the SPY selling off like this? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, SPY chilling right around here again. Let's see. I might take the Apple and then just like, let the SoFi run or take the SoFi and let the Apple run. I'm probably going to do one of something like that in a little bit. Uh, Spy looks like it wants to move back down here. Let's see. Uh, Ukraine declares state of emergency. Oh boy, that's not good. That is not good. Ah, oh, I keep dropping my phone. I'm going to accidentally enter into trades. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, SoFi come down. Spy back down. Let's see what we get over here. SoFi calls before earnings. I think SoFi already had earnings, didn't they? 100% uh, printing on puts on overstock still dropping. There you go. Got a nice little 35% gain put on Pfizer. Boom. There you go. All right. I think I'll take a few of the SoFis off the table and just let them ride. So how much is this? 
23, 1, 2, 3. I can take three of them. So I can sell four of these and make it free. Let's see if I can get this filled right here on SoFi. That, they're not going to fill me on this. All right. So I sold, I sold four of the SoFis that I had. I had like seven. So now I cut it a little bit. And Apple... I'm just going to kind of let the apples go a little bit. Uh, but I did take some money back on the SoFi, but I still have some money on the table with it. Ung one minute candles. Oh boy, hold on. Now you say snatch gas. Oh! My Ung contracts are not really doing a whole lot, but you know. Ung moving again? Yep. Let's see here. Yeah, Ung looking good. Spot. Ooh, there we go. Natural gas, what does it look? Is it up 2% yet? Yeah, natural gas is pumping right now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Maybe I'll buy the dip on these. Wait, hold on. What are they listing them at? All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to leave these be. I'm going to leave them be over here. So 50% on the SoFi's right now, 33% on Apple. Let's see what Spy's going to... Uh, Spy's coming up here a little bit. So let's see what happens. It might come up and test this uh, 25 again. Uh, 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 uh. Can you check the Wells Fargo chart? Do you see it coming down to 48? Let me look. That's a big drop, man. That's a huge drop. 54 to 48 is a huge drop. 100% on an overstock put. There you go. Um, I mean, it, you got this 1348 cross. Tech textbook 1348 on the way down great job for hitting it um but again that's a giant drop to come down let's see amy getting a little bit of a candle back up here it's down about 16 cents uh 0.9 percent over here spy a little bit in the red basically flat on the day coming up to test that um what do you call it 25 ma where's apple uh apple trying to move back up here a little bit this is probably going to test the thoughts rejecting over here Q4 SoFi earnings on 3-1. Oh, interesting. Interessante. All right. Ung is coming back to life. I like that. Apple coming back down. Spy rejected at the 25 again. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see here. All right. Apple, Spy rejecting. Amy, eh, it's struggling around here a little bit. Uh, just want to mention that every dollar you earn with puts is a loss of, of a retail investor that doesn't want to take the risk of option to invest in. Wait, what? Cheering when stocks goes down seems a little awkward to me. Andreas, are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? You're, you're saying that when the market's moving down and you buy puts, when everything is saying that it's going to go down, that we shouldn't do that. That is the craziest thing of all time. That is, Ung is going up. People do do that. Like people, like, like it, it's a certain type of investing where you, wow, these Ung contracts are about to go in the money. Like you, you're going to say you should not invest in something because it's not like, okay, whatever. I can't even, all right, whatever. Uh, um, these contracts are about to go in the money over here. We got spy flicking around, getting rejected at this 25. You shouldn't celebrate when normal guys lose money. We are normal guys, Andreas. What we're doing here is literally allowing the normal everyday person to make money on the downside. You're playing it both ways. It's just the market. It's literally just the, it's numbers on a screen for us. Why would you not, if you're a retail investor, a normal person, not want to make money when the market's going down? You're just going to be like, ah, shoot, nope, there's another dude over there who's just like me, but I don't want to make money when he's not making money. Bro, you got to change your mindset a little bit there, bud. Uh, Spy's coming up here a little bit. All right. Oh, that's on the one minute. I might get out of these apples. So far, I mean, I'm up 23% on the apple puts but you haven't explained how to buy puts. You same thing as buying calls. You so normal. Where's Ung? Oh, wait, that was Ung. Whoops. Should be spreading the word and making people aware, not silencing it. Exactly. 
Do you just want us to sit here and be like, oh, market down, we're losing money together? No, we're going to make money when this market is coming down. That's what we do. This is wild, people. Also, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button on the stream. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Not a hedge fund. Thank you so much for the super. Made a non-normal person 20% today. Thanks. Not a hedge fund. There you go, buddy. Da, 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 da. Why doesn't he join us then? No, like I want people like that to join us. Because like that's the mindset of retail investors and like no, like who, people in the market. They're like, why would I bet on something going down? It's like, well, it's just the market telling you that things are going to go down right now. That's all it is. It's like, all right, market's coming down. Might as well make money when that's happening, when you have long positions. All right, I'm coming back down a little here. Ukraine's state of emergency draft text. I suggest ban on mass gatherings and strikes. Okay, well, spy selling off here again. Uh, uh let's see. Everyone's still holding AMC and GME. Make money off all their plays while we wait. James. You got the uh, you got the right idea, buddy. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, for all those people that do want to learn how to make money in this market condition conditions, you can get all the alerts like for free this week. You just have to cancel before March first. Um, so make sure you check out that link pinned in the top of the chat for the Discord. I mean, we're crushing it over here today. So let's see. Uh, we're getting some Ukraine news over here. Uh, Apple puts up thirty five percent. SoFi puts up forty six percent. So. Well, I might trim these apples soon. Made 70% on SoFi. Yes, Trey's mustache. There we go. That's what I like to see. Did you close it out? Uh, Trey's mustache, did you close that out? Uh, the smart retail investor learns all aspects of the game. The foolish investor trusts his money in the 401k to a big fund manager. Right. All those fund managers, most of the time, they're not that smart. Uh, can you price an eBay strangle? Yes. So uh, Ung is testing that 13 EMA on the five minute over here, eBay. Uh, oops, eBay strangle. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I wouldn't touch it. It's pricing in like eight, nine percent, about nine. Ooh, maybe maybe ten percent over actually. eBay's pricing in a lot. Uh, so spies coming back down here. Apple, how are these looking? Yeah, these are still looking all right. What's it on the one minute? Yeah, reject it off the 25 again. Watch it make a new low. Let's see. Up over 110% on IMPP in two days. Mr. Key, is there you go, buddy. There you freaking go. All right. Ooh, that's pretty gnarly over here. It's up 53% right now. Yeah, spy moving back down here on the one minute. Let's see what it looks like on the five. Yep, coming down. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Yes, I close it. I'm up 30% on Ung. Dude, there we go. Ung's a little weird, Trey's mustache. Like, it's weird. It's going to move a little bit suspiciously. Like, right here, natural gas. Okay, so it was up 2.82% the last time I refreshed it. Refreshed it. What's it up now? 2.89. But Ung is selling off. So natural gas is going up. Ung is not. So it's a weird thing to trade. I, I always go in on Ung. Very, very, very small. Thoughts on AMD? I am really, really, really bullish long term on AMD. That's like, well, I have a lot of AMD. Uh, 1605 on Amy. Spy's coming back down here. You're up 16 bucks today? Well, you know what? It's better than being down. We need a bounce. Yeah, it's not going to happen if the market's freaking out like this. Uh, natural gas jumps 3.8% to 4.667, fueled by surge in European gas prices. All right, Ung could get a little pop off this. SoFi broke support. Oh, 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 oh. hit it now. Hit it now. Oh, there. If, if that breaks 10, that's going to get nasty. So, whoa, I'm up 70% on SoFi now. There we go. I'm up 51% on Apple puts. Bing bong. SoFi at 10. Yeah. Uh, support on AMC. I mean, you're going to see it like at 16, 15, 50, like all those, like all those marks over there. Uh, so SoFi looks like it could break 10 over here. Yeah, it looks like it's about to. New lows on SoFi. I've noticed that your only diamond hands went in downside. Right. The reason the reason for that is because the, my view of this market right now is very, very bearish. I just think the market has more potential to sell off big than run up big. 
AMC Ortex changes today? Let's take a look. Um, so let's see. We have a net return of 327,000 shares, 20.89% estimated short interest, 107 million shares sold short, 115 million shares on loan. Uh, AMC selling off here. So far, a little pop. That's by a little pop, but let's see. Spy crossing on the one minute soon. Oh, is it now? No, this is the one minute on the spy. Uh, hold on. Wait, maybe not. Yeah, you're right. No, Spy's not going to cross on the one minute. It's coming back up to this 13 here, but it keeps getting rejected and, and coming back down. It didn't make a new low yet, though, so that's pretty interesting. SoFi coming down. SV isn't so SDV. No, I don't really short the VIX very much. I've done it like once or twice. SoFi coming down below 10. Yeah, it's doing it right now. It looks like it wants to do it right here. It could get very, very selly below 10. So Spy moving down here. No way. Utilization has 100%. I don't believe it either. I think it's bullshit. Uh, 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 ooh, Amy coming down, spy coming down. So far, so close to breaking. What are these spy puts at now? 50%, 70% on SoFi. There we go. Support the VIX. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate that, buddy. Up 75% on USO calls. Hey, guys. You're getting, you're getting smarter. You're getting smarter. VIX is crazy. Bipolar. Don't get near it. Yeah, it is. Not getting alerts on the three minute. Is it? No, I'm getting the alerts right here. I just got one four minutes ago. Uh, hold on. All right, guys. Also, if you guys don't mind, hitting that like button on the stream on your way in. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Get some more people in here watching all these trades really start to fire off. Um, but let's see what we got going on here. Hold on. Uh, took my 20% from Ung and dipped. Good job, man. All right, SoFi's fighting around 10, but if the SPY keeps coming down like this, it's going to break it. Uh, 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 uh. SV, thought on your future RICO charges? Interesting. Um, how are they going to do any of that nonsense? They, you can look at all my trading records, everything I've said. It's just me talking about a stock. Uh, that's a funny comment, Philip. Let's see. Uh, 44% on Apple, 70% on SoFi. Did SPY just get a bounce? No. Interesting. Uh, how will the conflict affect the market? Should sell off and then rip, I think, eventually. But we also have rate hikes hanging over our head. CNN says SPY will hit 300s again. Flush. Ah, I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to inverse that. You sold the UNG for a 30% profit? There you go, buddy. You're crushing it today, Trey's mustache. What's it at now? Yeah, UNG's trying to... Ung's trying to come back up here. Wait, this is on the one minute, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want that on the... Wait, was I, was I looking at it on the one minute? Yeah, that's what I... Okay, I got to make sure I'm looking at the right time frames here. Let's see. Let's check. Aren't rate hikes already priced in? Maybe. But again, like you don't know how the market's going to react when they actually do it. That's the thing that everybody's worried about. Like, yeah, they'll price in rate hikes, but you don't know how the market's actually going to react. Uh, Spy rejecting on the one minute at the 13 over here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Philip, you think I'm going to jail, buddy? Interesting. That's just like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, okay, well, like what? You're going to Rico me as a criminal enterprise. Okay, cool. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Spy do be looking like a meme stock? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Spy coming down a little bit here. Apparently institutions holding now is 35%. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, 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 Y'all on some weird stuff today? Yeah. People are going to be people. Uh, Let's see here. 66% on SoFi, 44% on Apple. He's already in jail. He's been on a house arrest. All right, STV went wrench. I think it's time. I think it's time. I got you, buddy. There you go. Bing bong. All right, let's see. Spy flicker in here. Ung looking all right. Has there anything been official on starting transparency going to affect on March 3rd, or is it a crock? Uh, it's a definite 100% crock. <laughs> Let's see. 
Gasper knows open a few YouTube accounts today. Yeah, probably. All right, spy bouncing up here. What's it on the one minute? And it's coming up to this 25 and the 13. Oh my God, bro. A thousand percent on spy, 800% on Tesla, 50% on Apple, 800% Netflix, 10% on Ford puts. And people said you can't make money. F that says Jose. Woo. Jose. That a freaking boy. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, spy rejecting at this 13. Ooh, here it comes. You got to update your logo though. People are printing on posts. Got to ditch the bull. I mean, we can't do that just because everything is starting to go down. Let's see. You can promote a show for running around town, exposing your angles to everybody. Yeah. Uh, the new guy. Thank you so much for the super buddy. I appreciate that. Can you look at you? So and go over what you look at on RSI and MACD to see how you can use it as well. Yeah. Okay. You so did it cross today or no? Okay. So there's no cross on you. So you so is typically one that I don't trade with 1348. I literally just look at oil prices. Like I literally just look at oil prices. You guys are still listening to this guy and giving him money. Hey, Joel, one, uh, everybody's printing. So everybody's making so much money over here. And you're being a little hit for him to tell you the same thing over and over and over and over. Joel, that's my job. That's literally the, the, the job description. Repeat yourself all the time because people have similar questions. Uh, let's see. So the new guy, Yuso right now, MacD on the five minutes about to cross down. That could be a little bit bearish, but it could come down and just touch this 13 and bounce right up. So RSI is probably cooling off a little bit on it as well. So, I mean, I don't typically use the RSI. I just look at like the momentum, the MACD, and then where other things are going in the market. Joel, also, nobody in here has to give me money if they don't want to. Like what? Like, I don't understand this whole thing. Like, well, uh, okay, nobody has to do that. That's literally the thing here. You do not have to do that if you do not want to. I'll be here anyway. Uh, uh, uh. so many haters today yeah i mean the thing is like i've never heard so many people i literally are like telling us that like we're wrong and here's the thing this is like one of the days and a couple of the days in the row where we're literally printing the most money so like fuck off <laughs> like uh, all right cool all right i'm gonna look and see what i need to do with these apples over here I mean, they're still up 44%, 62% on SoFi. Like, come on now. Let's see. I haven't given SCB a penny and he always responds to me. Exactly. I respond to all of you guys. Let's see. Uh, 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 shield, shield, shield. Start banning. All right. I'll bring out the ban hammer. Uh, ban that chicken sacrifice. Now, nah, where's Joel? We can have a little conversation with him. I could be making so much money if I hadn't joined the movement. Never again. Well, Mr. Finance, you can do the same thing. Uh, you can do both. Keith, thank you so much for the super, buddy. Here's the required hourly super chat that you force us to give you every day. Oh, wait, not. Yeah, exactly. Don't You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Bad attitude for business. Uh, here's the thing, Hal. One, the people that are in here that are making money, I, I mean, we're I'm cool with all these people. The people in here that are shilling and being idiots. If, if Hal, if you're saying the bad attitude for business is me telling people that they do not have to give me money, then okay. Like <laughs> you made a thousand dollars yesterday, mod couple. There you go. SCV not only answers my questions, he also takes me out to dinner. Well, I don't do that. Up 40% on Ung. There you go. SV responded to me. I'm new. Made 15 bucks today. Glory. There you go. 1348 forever. Exactly. SV has called me a month. Yeah, exactly. Don't Ung is coming back to life. Uh well, that's you so over here. What the Ung? I mean, natural gas might start to pump. Yeah, natural gas getting a pump over here. Ah, ah, ah. Oops. Uh, I'm not here. I'm dead. <laughs> You're not a babysitter. That's true. SV has responded to me 33% of the time. 
and I always like his videos. Logan, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, so Spy on the one minute, it's still flickering around this 25. On the five, it looks like it might come up a little bit. The MACD is a little curly over here, so let's see what happens. Where's Apple right here? I mean, these Apple trade, this Apple trade is still good. It's just slowly getting walked down on Apple. Uh, so what are these at? 49% on Apple, 66% on SoFi. The SoFi I thought was going to be a little bit better breaking down below 10. It just hasn't done it yet. Um, so I'm kind of watching the spy on the one minute just to see where it goes. Uh, 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 Vix is my babysitter. SCV makes me more money than my wife, than the wife. Interesting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gasparino tweeted, I don't care. I genuinely don't care. <laughs> like, I'll take care of everyone. Discord bill this week. You're welcome. There you go. Uh, SV keeps me locked in a closet with TMI's gerbil. No, no. All right, here, people. Breaking uh, Russian tanks and forces have entered the Ukraine regions declared to be independent. Oh, boy. 36% responses out. SCB reads me books to bed. All right. I don't do any of that nonsense, but let's see here. Spies starting to kind of melt down a little here. Apple, what's going on with you? On the five minute, yeah, Apple puts still look really good. This guy on YouTube made me buy stocks and pay him money. <laughs> You're up 92% on Ung. How am I not getting any of this? Why are my Ung contracts down? Why does the market maker hate me? I'm down 5.8% on Ung right now. Oh, I also kind of bought at the high yesterday. That is true. Stop yelling at me when you make money. <laughs> all right, spy flick right here. Ung looking all right. Let's see. How many times can I break the good faith violation? Three, I think. And then they restrict your account. Spy about to get take a giant deuce? I think so, too. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, Paul, thank you so much for the super, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm 48 years old with a finance degree, and I am learning from college kids on how to trade 1348 EMA. The strategy works plain and simple. Paul, I'm a finance major right here, uh, and it's kind of useless. I don't know what you do for a living. Uh, I mean, I assume you work in something in finance, uh, but in my opinion, for what like I kind of see is like what you actually learn is like valuable skills going into finance. A finance degree is kind of not helping anybody. So let's see here. Uh, also, if you guys don't mind, as you're filtering in, Hitting that like button on the stream costs you nothing to do it. Helps out a whole lot. Um, let's see. Apple selling off here a little bit. This is gnarly. So if I tap 10, I want it to tap like 950. Like I'll be making so much money if it does. Come on, SoFi. You should not be getting this much support at 10. I am in the oil and gas business. Paul, so am I sort of. I trade oil sometimes and I make money. <laughs> I want Gabe to join the stream when people are shilling. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, that would be reckless. All right. Let's see. Spy on the one minute. Bouncing up to the 13. I go to STVU. Yeah, there you go. Me too. My puts are 950 for SoFi. I have the 10s. Um, so I have the $10 puts on SoFi for this week. Uh, they're up 68%. Apples are up 46 I mean, Spy's just being a little shithead here. And it's just, I mean, it made a new low and then came back. The one minute MACD looks like it wants to come up, but the five minute is curling. So, yeah, I don't know. Bro, Gabe would destroy the shills. I'd pay to see that. Dude, you are the worst oil baron who has ever lived. Is that because I switched over to trading natural gas because it moves bigger? Oh, my God. Natural gas is up 3.76% right now. What in the mother? Ung, what are you doing? <laughs> uh you've been a real monkey today how is that me i'm i'm all about the monkey business uh dude i don't understand um you should be cranking here all right 62 percent on so 44 percent on apple uh spy's trying to come back up here hasn't gotten a test of this 48 yet we can see what happens over here but so what's this looking like still hanging around 10 1004 let's see apple getting a little bit of a pop with the spy probably a little bit but nothing too crazy why are AMC options only go to 40 except March 18th? It goes to 95. That's just what the uh that's just what the market makers want to sell you. So if I got that support at 10, yeah, it does. But if it breaks it, it's gonna be gnarly, I think. That's kind of what I'm looking at over here. Um, MC Busket, thank you so much for the super buddy. SV, when you're purchasing uh calls and puts, how do you get filled on options faster? Mine never go through right away. What am I doing wrong? So there's a bid ask spread on options. So there's gonna be a bid price and an ask price. I typically go somewhere in the middle 
and see if they'll fill me. If not, I slowly modify the order up to the ask. And if I need to go to the ask, I do. Um, if I really have a lot of confidence in the play, but again, if it's a news play, I'll just hit the ask right away. Um, so it just depends. If you're using limit orders, it's gonna take you a little bit to get filled. It's like a art. Like you just have to like figure out like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put an order here. Didn't get filled within the first 15 seconds. Okay, I step it up two cents. Okay, didn't get filled. Step it up another two cents until you get filled. You can also. This is how I steal contracts from people. Um, this this is how I steal contracts. So what happens is is if I'm trading in a liquid options chain or just an option that like doesn't have a lot of volume. Let's see. <laughs> also, your 1348 strategy will be part of your Rico charges. Wonder who you conspired with to start and disseminate it. Oh, yeah, because creating a trading strategy is a criminal offense. Philip, I feel like you're just joking now. Like, it, like your jokes aren't funny. Like, they're just stupid. Uh, all right, so when I steal contracts, what I do is when I'm stepping up that bid price, I watch the ask. If the ask starts moving down, I know I'm battling with somebody. Like, I know I'm looking at somebody else on a computer on the other side trying to get their order filled like really trying to get out uh apple coming down a little bit here spy coming down a little bit as well nate thank you so much for the super buddy i appreciate that stv tmi and rd forced me to make money which in turn has forced my wallet to get fatter which has given me back problems but they they all three sing me lullabies at night so it works out nate i really appreciate that money yeah i just call it stealing conch because it's funny all right spy back down here Apple back down, approaching that new low of the day. Hey, SoFi, what's going on here with you? Please break 10. Come on, bro. Spy's still selling off and you can't break 10, SoFi? What is wrong with you? Spy's approaching the low of the day. Same thing with Apple. That low of the day on Apple. Printing. How dare you come up with other strategies? Exactly. I don't know. How dare I? 62% on Apple puts. There we go. Amy loves Jimmy. Thank you so much for the super. I'm diamond handing it down 55K on AMC and Jimmy right now, but I made over $1,000 yesterday with 1348. There you freaking go. That is what we love to see. Amy loves Jimmy. I love that. Yeah, guys. Uh, if Again, if you do want access to the uh, the premium part of the Discord for the week, uh, make sure you guys join it up. You, you All you have to do is cancel before March 1st if you don't like it, if you don't want to pay. Um, but definitely go check out the strategy and kind of see what's going on. GME bouncing up. Any 1348 plays? I mean, I'm in, I'm in, um, uh, not spy, but I'm watching spy to, to kind of nurse my Apple puts. I've got some Apple puts and SoFi puts. I took some profit on the SoFi's. I might take some profit on the Apples too. Uh, how many contracts do I have? What can I do? 60%. Uh, now they're up 50%. So I didn't need to, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'd have to do something with this. I want these up a little bit more because I want to. I don't want to sell three of them because that suck. How dare you use math and statistics? <laughs> we can all see. Micron, what do you think? Micron, what winner the last time I looked at it? Uh, actually, I mean, this cross right here coming down below the 200 was nasty. So, I mean, it's the Mac five minute MACD looks like it wants to cross up. Spies five minute looks like it wants to do the same thing. But typically in the past, we've seen it almost cross and then it goes boom, right back down. Uh, one minute on the spy still hovering right around this 13 EMA, but just getting slowly walked down. Now, Micron coming down again. Apple's probably doing something similar. Yeah, Apple, little red candle. SoFi, come on, break that 10, bro. Oh, it's so close. TLT boom boom candles. Like how big? Is there a bond auction? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. TLT coming up. Uh-oh. Watch out below. Let's make some money to put in AMC. Yeah. Where's Justin? Um... Uh, Justin and his matzo balls. Oh, well, he's TLT's down a little bit today, but TLT's a weird one. Uh, you so walking down. Yeah, where's uh natural gas and oil? Holy natural gas is up 4% today. What in the shit is going on with Ung? This is nonsense over here. Like, absolute nonsense. Bought five more. There you go, Rance. Yeah, you so walking down. Natural gas is pumping. I'm leaving these. Oh, so far, you're just, you're just... <sighs> You know, it was a good trade. Maybe I'll take the rest of the SoFi's now. Or I'll take, how many do I have left? I got three. Maybe I'll sell one more. Eh, I don't really care. It's only like 100 bucks on there now. Apple coming down, Spy coming down. Let's see here. Uh, 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 what does TLT mean when it goes down? Uh, let me think. It, so it always messes with my head a little bit. So it's um, TLT going down should mean bond yields go up. People are selling bonds going into the stock market. That's how it should go. It's just flow of money. Uh, 
Apple selling off here, about to make a new low. DraftKings, yeah, that's been good. 58% on Apple. Bing bong. Germany canceled gas pipeline with Russia, so it makes it uh, sense that other gas firms go up. Europe needs its gas. Right, but um, I mean, natural gas is pumping today. 4.14% in the green. WTI crude's up 1.66. Un should be ripping. Who told you on natural gas? Oh, is it you? I mean, you told me about Ung. I was trading Oxy for a while, and then it was just moving weird. Then I switched to USO, and then I was like, oh, shit, natural gas. Is it's literally on the screen that I look at right here all the time. So, like, this is literally just WTI crude, Brent crude, natural gas, and you just see it. It's up 4.14%. Like, I was looking at that, and I was like, hold on now. What are natural gas stocks? These are probably going crazy. Apple... Oh, shit. Apple new low. Oh, baby. 66% on Apple puts over here. Ung up 4% too, but my options aren't reflecting it. Yeah, me neither. I feel like we're just... My Ung contracts are down 11% right now from yesterday. Uh, Zero buying pressure on Amy right now. Well, there's a lot of selling pressure on the overall market. Like, look at this. Everything's just coming down. SoFi at 10. SoFi needs to break 10. That's what SoFi needs to do. 71% on SoFi. Uh, 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 when SPY on TLT move like this, doesn't that signal stagflation? No. It just, it doesn't, no. not It's not stagflation. It's just uh, how money is flowing with bonds and stocks. That's all it is. SPY broke support. Okay, honestly, uh, SPY is getting kind of close to this 426.50 level that I would kind of look at as being like, eh, it might bounce. So, SoFi still at 10.02. Jesus. Apple, it's coming up a little bit here, but these are up 60%. Not bad. Whole market is a meme stock. Yeah. Uh, so, AMC Daily is looking like the MACD is going to cross into earnings. How do you feel? Odds of no reversal? It just depends. Um, UNG is US gas. You have to liquefy it in order to ship supplies likely to from, from Qatar. Uh, maybe that's the issue. All right, here comes SPY back down on the one minute. Let's just throw this on the five now that it's coming down. See, it looked like it was going to cross, and then nope. So let's see over here. Apple, 163.20, AMC, 1590. That's not fun, but at least we're making money on puts. Earnings will do nothing for AMC. I disagree, Jason. Uh, overstock, confirmed naked shorts. Good earnings, ripped. All right, let's see. So many good earnings for market open tomorrow. Baba, Disca, Cars, Moderna. Oh, maybe we could play Disca because Viac moved crazy on their earnings. Like crazy. So maybe we'll play some Disca. SoFi, come on, break 10. Ah, oh, it's so close, man. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. no, it doesn't want to do it, man. It is so close. Can you give a quick look at DraftKings? Yes. Jesus, this thing just rip it. Does not care what the market is doing. Is there news on this thing? Uh, Citigroup adjusts DraftKings price target to 35 from 40. That was seven hours ago. I mean, and, and DraftKings is just like, ha, low price target? I'm ripping. Approximately $70,000 buy wall at 10 for SoFi. God darn it. If it wipes that, though, I mean, it's going to tank, I feel like. Like, it's so close. Love your channel, SV. Henry, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, uh, up, made $124 and close your spy. David Morgan, there you go. Uh, sorry if this is dumb. Why are there so many different expiration dates for spy last week and this week? It's always like that. So the spy contracts expire Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, yeah, guys. Also, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button on the stream on your way in. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for showing your support uh, for the channel recently. And I'm really glad that you guys are making a bunch of money, too. That's I'm really, really happy for you guys. Did it hit it? Nope. Spy down. Apple new low. Apple coming down. Russia deploys more soldiers. It's happening. Yeah, I mean, that stinks, but I'm going to still sit here making money on puts. Spy back down. Apple probably coming with it. I mean, Tesla would have been wild today, too. Uh, there's a couple of states voting on whether to allow gambling. Okay, that's fair. I think in Connecticut, you're, uh, where I am, it's good to go. 6.5% on Adobe puts. There you go. Going uh, to get nastier if TLT closes the candle above the 200 on the way up. Yeah, where is TLT? UVXY, is it we're getting ready to go? Yep, UVXY looking good. TLT, wow. Yeah, TLT, if this closes above here, that's going to be nasty. Uh, Apple. 
AMC Ortex. Yep. So when we come over here, AMC Ortex, uh, 20.88% estimated short interest. That's really the only number that we can kind of care about right now. That's really it. Uh, we've had Octo online gambling since October-ish. Interesting. All right. Here comes Apple approaching the new low. Spy coming down again. Ding dong. All right. What do we got here? What do we want? SoFi. Oh, see? Right as SoFi breaks 10, it freaking tanks. There we go. What are these at now? How is that only 79%? Are you kidding me? 72% on Apple, though. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, SoFi under 10 now. This could get gnarly on SoFi. So Spy's coming down here. I sold everything and bought AMC $32 calls expiring Friday. That's probably a stupid idea. So, yeah, so if I broke under 10 and it's selling, spy selling, what are these apples at? 76%. Woohoo! Making money. All right, 1593 on Amy. That's no fun. But spy's coming down. New lows on pretty much everything. Let's see what happens with SoFi around here. Uh, 83% on SoFi. There you go. 76% on Apple. I mean, the spy puts were probably a little bit better today on this little cross down and it just bleeds down. But I didn't really want to play the spy today because it's not an expiration date. The Apple laugh was so devious. Yeah, up 5,400 for the week, 3,500 for of that so far today. Aaron, woo! There we go, people. Not devious, but naughty. Yeah. I mean, that's how it works. Hey, Apple, what are you doing? SoFi, 996. $32 of calls on AMC for Friday. Uh, take your money and throw it in the fire. Yeah, like that's crazy. Uh, is it a spy expiration date today? I am so stupid. It is an expiration date today. I did it again, guys. Shit. It is an expiration. It's Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday. Oh, man. Damn it. I forgot, I forgot what day it was. I would have just gotten spy puts. Oh, okay, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. LMAO, we thought you knew. Nope, I didn't know. <laughs> Damn it. And we talked about this yesterday too. We literally talked about this yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm going to forget that there's an expiration date tomorrow. And I did, I forgot. I was like, oh, they expired tomorrow. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> Monday holiday. Yep. I forgot about that. See, that's me not reading the defense over there. All right. Spy moving down again here. Wait, where's this candle? That's a one. What do we got here? All right. Let's see. So far, big poopy head. Uh, Apple. Selling. Reading is hard. Yeah, just sold my house and bought one cheaper. Had a lot of equity. Once everything closed, I'm going to uh, 1348 my way to pay off the mortgage or bust. There you go, Nate. Good luck. Be very, very careful if you're going to use. The other thing is that I think, in my opinion, you should start trading with a small amount of money and then build it up. So you're used to in, you're used to slowly feeling what it's like to see those volatile swings in your account. Like you could put $1000 in your account if you can if you could have then or like 2000 in your account if you could actually put in 20. But let's say that 20 is like, "All right, I need this 20 grand." You're like, "All right, well, you could easily blow that up and you're going to be like shaking. You're like, "Oh, I don't want to do it." And you're going to be a little bit ungus dropping. What in the shit? Yeah, natural gas came down a little bit here. Apple selling off still. SoFi. SoFi being a hoe. All right. I think I'm going to sell the rest of the SoFis. Yeah, I'll take the SoFis. I don't want them anymore. I don't want them anymore. So let's see. I sold the rest of the SoFis. I still have the Ungs. The Ungs are struggling. Apple coming back up here a little bit. SoFi earnings next week. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. something is very off about this channel you cheer for war in the market crash just for a short-term gain hey the sam uh no we just read the market and we're like oh yeah the market's gonna go down so uh we might as well buy puts literally how it works 
Uh, if you're going to sit here and be like, no, stop going down. Stop talking. You're literally not, not understanding what the reality is. What is the reality right now? War and market come down. Okay, stop fighting it. It's going to go down. Things are going to go down. Might as well make money on it. That's what we're here to do. Uh, our 4-bid-3 Eskimo. Thank you so much for becoming a member, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, like you're going to get mad at me for playing the market on the way down when there's uh, an invasion going on, when the market's going to come down. What are you buying calls right now to be like, no, I'm going to give people more money. That's just silly. Uh, 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 uh. Vix doesn't talk about politics easier. We don't even listen to Biden here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're trading the market here, not people's personal feelings. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Spy on the one minute, coming back up to the 13. Let's see what happens on it. WTI and Brent coming back up. Also, what pushes oil and gas, not spy? It's just, it's just bit, it's just like bids. Um, how do you price in a strangle? Uh, you add the at the money strike and divide it by whatever the price is, uh, the price is. Let's see. You are smart playing the market going down. No doubts. I just think it's what you should be doing. It just makes sense. You all sound like some hedgies. The Sam, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. You sound like you don't know how to trade. You sound like you have no idea what you're doing. The market's going down. The whole goal of like teaching people to trade is so that they can not get absolutely, utterly blown the F out when you see markets start to tank like this. I'm, we are literally giving you the tools to hedge your portfolio. And you're saying, no, it just, I, I don't get it, man. Uh, people have been coming in here a lot saying that stuff today. It's very, very weird. If making money makes me a hedgy, then whatever, bro, I'm here for money. Exactly. Shows are upset. They are upset that retail's making money over here. So far, coming back down, I'm out of that though. So let's see what Apple's doing over here. Now, Apple coming down again. <laughs> Yucca, you're doing it again. Are different opinions allowed on your channel? Not ones that aren't based in any type of logic. No, those will, those I will say that those are silly. People crying about playing the downside will lose their MOAS tendies in a year. That's possible. If you're still in the market, it's 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 gonna be very unless you have to if you're gonna keep trading and buying stuff and the market's gonna be really volatile and you're just gonna be like, he sounds like a hedgy trying to keep retail as dumb money. Exactly. Here's okay, very, very good point. Where's what's this dude's name? I don't know. The Sam. Okay, here's the deal. You are literally feeding into the narrative that big money wants us to be thinking how we're, how they want us to think that's literally what they're doing they're like oh these idiots don't know how to play the downside so you are literally perpetuating like retail being called dumb money y you're kind of the problem here uh ethan thanks for the super buddy let's face it until amc 90 percent of us didn't know you could make money on the way down just hedge moves to reduce the damage exactly buddy same as the reason they call us dumb money. That honestly, it's a little bit true. They're just trying to get under your skin today. You should take a look at how much money I've made with thirteen forty eight today. None of none of the things that these people are gonna say are gonna tell me anything. Let's see, Ariel. Thanks for the super. Just ignore the haters. We're printing. Thanks to you. Appreciate that. Seventy two percent on Dogecoin puts. You can you can buy puts on Dogecoin. Sub Hedgy, want to see my gains from today? Yeah. Sorry, we aren't yellowing on spy and Tesla calls anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like, we just can't. Like, why would we do that? 72% on Apple puts right here. Thank you. 1348 paid for the Discord within the first day. There you go. Yeah, guys, if you do want to learn about this strategy and really basically say, hey, all of these big institutions are trying to keep us stupid and you're going to be able to make money in any given marketplace, just try out the free part of the, or not even, the, like, you can try out the premium part of the Discord this entire week. If you don't like it, you can just cancel before March 1st, and then you're good to go. But you definitely should give it a try because there's going to be people out here, like these people in the chat today that are like, oh, we don't want you making money when the things are moving down. It's like, okay, well, then we're just going to sit here losing money. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Aaron, thank you so much for the super. Uh, trading on 1348 allowed me to quit my job and support my wife and five kids. This is a dream come true. Anyone who says, 
it is wrong can shove it. There you go. I just pay, trade, paid for mine in one small play today. There you go. The Sam 99, I don't support YouTubers. Interesting. Well, you're in my live chat right now supporting me. And here's the thing. Why don't you like YouTubers? I'm literally just giving people the tools to make money. And you are in here yelling at people for making money. You are the problem. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can you make SoFi move down? No, I can't. Jared, thank you so much for the super. Even if you don't have access to uh, option trading, the way I cope with boring bear market is I buy uh, the drops. I don't buy all at once because that's what creates frustration and loss. Very, very true. I like you. Oh, that's fine, Sam. You can like me. I just don't see the reason why you're coming in here and like, like not like, oh, I want to make money in this market. It's like easy money today. Uh, they're using 1438, I bet. Yeah, maybe. James, thank you so much for becoming a member, my man. I appreciate that. Uh, 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 you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That's true. I don't think any of us buy puts on Amy. No. I'm not buying anything on AMC. Like, not, I don't buy, I've told you when I'm going to start considering buying calls on AMC. It's when we cross, uh, when we get that big 1348, uh, 1348 cross, and then a cross above the 200 EMA. That's when I'll start considering it. That's what I'm going to do. Smooth brain apes are evolving. So what you're saying is it's okay to buy puts and bet on AMC falling. Uh, Steven, you're, you might have no brain cells. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, spy moving down a little bit here. We're getting spicy today, people. Timothy, thanks for the super bud. Uh, best way to learn doing calls and puts. I buy and hold and know nothing else. Yes. So there's a video on YouTube by the YouTube channel in the money. Um, that is called, I think it's how to trade options on Weeble. It's not like how to trade options, but it explains you everything you need to know. Um, and it's not really, it's just like he's using Weeble as like the broker that you're, it's just how he's explaining it. But definitely go watch that video. It's called how to trade options on Weeble, I think. Um, but that's a good one. Let's see here. Jeez, take it easy, man. I know, Steven, I'm sorry. I'm fired up today, buddy. Let's see here. Spy flickering. Apple coming down. You watched that vid last night. It was great. Thank you. Can you explain how the 200 EMA is using the 1348? It's uh, it's used as like a like where the longer term trend is. So if the price act if the price is below the 200 EMA and you get a call signal, you don't take it because the price is below that that longer term trend. Um, so it could easily come up to the 200 EMA reject and come right back down. So if you get a put signal below, you can consider taking it. If you get a call signal above, then you can consider taking that. But Amy, uh, 1598 over here, spy just kind of flickering. Let's see. Is it at the 13? Yeah. And then we got, uh, Apple coming down. Spy at yesterday's low. Yeah. Macy reversal here. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. It just hit this here. If it comes down through, that's going to be a little gnarly, but I would consider selling the uh, Apple puts. Closed out of spy puts up 80%, up 70% on an Apple put. There you go. Why don't you use 1080p for your videos? I do. I'm pretty sure I do. SCV just bad. He forgot it was spy expiration day today, taking it out on the shills. Yeah. All right. Spy might get a five-minute MACD cross here. Apple still at the low over here. Oxy crossing down. BBIG barcoding again. Yeah, that stuff's weird, dude. The spread on TLT is wide on the options. Yeah, it's just in a liquid option shape. Like it doesn't, it, it's not really doing a whole lot over there because uh, nobody's trading it. Like they'll take out short positions on it. But other than that, like why are spy contracts good on expiration day? They're cheap, but it makes them more volatile. So you can go up really fast and down really fast too. Shills are super upset today. Dude, I don't know why. Like if you're upset, just join the discord, make money. You're going to be fine. <laughs> uh Oh, interesting. I don't know. I'm really bad with like, video creation like in terms of like the the what do you call it um like the technology side I'm just not it's not my thing but guys i still record my videos on my phone like with my my phone my mic is my phone all right apple coming down here uh spy moving back down may pop up yeah i i think so too i'm gonna look for where is this on the one minute uh, right around the 13s apple coming down a little bit here though so watch out on the spy another great day on the spy dude you guys are absolutely crushing it the 1080 button i'm pretty sure i upload them in 1080 all right here comes apple back down 
Hey, Mick. Hey, Mick. Hey, Mick. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, buddy. I'm going to say whatever the hell I want because it's my channel. Um, And guess what? You're going to get put in timeout because you are literally sitting there trying to literally say something that's going to get under, try to get under my skin, which I don't give a shit about. I'm here making money. Uh, like, all right, go make money, dude. Stop being, stop literally focusing on things that literally do not matter. Jared, thanks for the super buddy. Bought 80 shares of AMC at 1601. There you go. Spies following Tesla. And it's just chilling at the low over here. Apple selling off a little bit. How much are these up? 72%. Not bad. 1348 strategy is helping me to trust my position during pump fakes and hold my short positions for longer. Thanks, STV, TMI, review door. Dude, I love that you guys are making money. It's just the best thing ever. Apple selling off here. Spy coming back down. 100% on spy puts. Dude, can you guys drop a one in the chat if you're making money today with, with trading? Just drop a one in the chat if you guys are making money today. Beyond under 50. There you go. <laughs> he said you only had 200. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Everybody's making money. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So, guys, if you guys have not joined the uh, the Discord yet and get that free week, you should do it. it it's, it, it's really going to step up your game. So, and it's risk-free. If you don't want to continue, just cancel before March 1st. Dude, you guys are, I saw one zero. That's it. Literally one person had a zero. Oh, two zeros. Dan, Dan Landry, I think you're lying. I think you're up. Damn, guys. You guys are crushing it. Woo! Man, 100% on the spy puts today. God, you guys are doing really good. All right, spy coming back up here a little bit. It might be time to get out of these apples. All right, how much am I up on this? Uh, all right, sixty-eight percent. I'll sell these right here. Am I paper handing? Am I paper handing if I do this? I think I am. Wait, that's the five minute on the. No, that's a one minute on the spy. Forty-five percent on spy puts. Micro reversal. Yeah, literally every thirteen forty-eight play has been green for me. Patrick, at a boy. All right, Apple. I almost want to just ditch it. You know, forty percent on TLT calls. Eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. It rejected, coming back down. Y'all are lords of war. No, Sam. It doesn't matter what's happening. It's just how the market's going to move. Let's see. Hey, Mr. Vix, I just want to make sure I have all my uh, participation points for this semester. I love your class. No, there's no participation points. Oh, what's up, Rogue? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you in here. Mr. Rogue the Legacy, I am of two minds with Apple, says Keith. Yeah, I don't know. 68%. It's not bad. Let's see here. All right, Apple Spy moving back down a little bit here. We're supposed to be making money. I'm just here for college credit. Yeah, I guess so, man. Yeah, also, if you guys don't mind, hitting that like button on the stream on your way in. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel recently. It helps out so much. Um, and I'm happy that you guys are making money, too. That's what we like to see over here. Uh, you too, Sam. Yeah, all right, let's see. Rogue is in here. Incoming boom boom candles. Oh shit! I might have to get out of my apple puts then. <laughs> oh, my name isn't Justin Frozen Peas and Meat Juice. There you go. What's up, man? Uh, time for spy calls? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, one, we're below the two hundred EMA. Two, we haven't seen a thirteen forty eight cross yet. Three, look at on the one minute. That's not the right one minute. This is the one minute that I want. Oh, wait, this is the one minute. So it's coming up to maybe test this 48 over here, but I'm a five minute. Oh, MACD cross. Hold your horses. I mean, Apple just looks like it wants to just still bleed. I paper handed my UVXY calls when they were up 30%, but what ticker can be day traded with no limit? I mean, you could trade futures if you wanted to, but if you're in a, if you're in a cash count, you can day trade as long as you have settled cash. Uh, 900 peeps missing. 
who smashed the like button appreciate that man yeah make sure you guys hit that helps out a whole lot with the the whole youtube stuff i mean we're gonna be here anyway trading making money making you guys money oh para uh yeah para might want to come back up here interesting just kind of nursing these apples just nursing the apples who would have thought raising three kids was so time consuming? Law, I'm great, guys. Just so in life, I'm watching pay, 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 and patiently on the AMC squeeze. Bro, there we go, buddy. All right, let's see what we got here. Apple coming down. All right, I'm going to throw this one in the Discord. Let's see. SSR on AMC? No, it shouldn't be. How much are we down? 2%? Spy flicker in here. Apple coming down. All right, let's see what we got over here. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see here. Spy Apple flickering. Let's see what we got over here. My name Kodak Black. But when you wait, what? <laughs> that didn't make a whole lot of sense, my man. All right, people. Let's see what we got. Uh, Amy. Ooh, Amy, trying to get back up here a little bit. Crossing the thirteen over here. Spy coming back down. Apple coming back down. My only green stock is mulling up 17%, nothing else. Yeah, it's we're not effing leaving. No, we're not going anywhere, people. We're just going to sit here making money until, like, we can. Like, until, and, like as long as we can. Uh, Ukraine declared state of emergency. Could see more downside still. Yeah, SSR doesn't matter. You're right. You are correct. Uh, five minute on the spy looks pretty red. apple coming down spy oh there it is here comes spy coming down to the lower end of this box over here let's see what happens oh now the apples are up 80 percent. i like it amc uptrend stopped well yeah after the okay the five minute macd still has not crossed huh? hold your horses here All right, Apple popping up a little here. Hold on. How do I delete this? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I got to figure something out real quick. Uh, all right, people. So, Spy's coming back up a little bit here. We got Apple trying to flicker around. Let's see. Sorry, I was trying to get that scam link out of the uh, out of the Discord. Uh, well, that would make Kodak a point. I don't know. I don't know. You guys are being wild over here. All right. So, 5-Minute MACD looks like it wants to cross on the Spy. Apple's coming up here. Uh, hasn't cross Has not crossed this 48 EMA on the 1 minute yet. So, that's kind of what I'm looking for on the Spy right here. If it can cross this 48 on the 1 minute, no more puts. Which, what is it? 427.93? What's it on the 1 minute? Or just close, very close. Let's see here, Apple Pop. Do you still have uncalls? Yeah. What's that? Oh, un got slapped in the face. All right, let's see. Rejected at the. Ah, it's flickering here. Let's see what happens with this. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Amy coming back to life over here. 1620 on AMC. All right. Spy just rejected. Let's see. Five minute MACD crossing. Yep. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's see what happens here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Locked in 70% gains on spy puts. There you go, buddy. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take these apples off the table. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, is it testing this 13 here yet? It's freaking close. Apple coming up. Five minute MACD cross. All right. I'll take it. All right, ditch the apple. There we go. All right, two trades of the day today. Very, very successful. We can always get back into some more stuff later if we want to play like UVXY or TLT. But I traded SoFi and Apple today. Both winners. Both big, big winners. 
Uh, let's see. There's been a lot less Ortex crackheads in here since the 1348 teachings. Yeah, it's very true. I mean, when we see like Ortex is just I, even the it's just because the data right now is nonsense in my opinion. Like they've net bar, net returned 568,000 shares, 1.45 percent average cost borrow, 20.87 percent estimated short interest. But like a lot of nonsense going on. All right, Spy could come up a little bit here. Let's see what happens. I mean, it did bounce off the lower end of this box. I just, it, it would need to break this 13 to really start to get jumpy. Can you look at TLT? Yes. TLT, ooh, TLT rejected at this 200 EMA. UVXY. UVXY coming down, testing the 13. Hasn't really fallen through yet. Ooh, that's what we could have looked at too. UVXY bouncing off this 13 EMA over here could send the spy back lower. Ooh, note to self, check UVXY next time. Let's see, people. Where did you 200 bucks go to? I don't know. I don't know why that guy thinks I only have $200. Um, it's fine. I mean, you can. he lost them in AMC calls. Who did that? Buying puts? Keith on what? Uh, I think some people equate buying puts with being a predatory short. Yeah. It's just silly. They just don't know what it is. It's fine. Like, it's all about, like, educating me. Like, this is not buying. This is not shorting. Uh, yucca. I don't know what that is. Uh, hundred percent spy puts 1348 rules. Randy, there we go, buddy. Shills will tell you what hedgies are afraid of. It's funny how much hate the 1348 is getting from them. They've even more afraid of resale crushing options than they are of MOS. Yeah. We are literally stealing money from the market makers. That's what we're doing. Oxy. Oxy crossed down over here. looks like it may come down. Remember we saw that nasty Oxy sell off yesterday. I honestly might get an Oxy put over here uh education yep 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 food and gas prices go up with uh putin Putin. yeah we need amy to go boom no we do but in the meantime like what well, we need the buying pressure and how are we going to do that well one of the ways is make money trading which is what a lot of people are doing over here da, 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 da. where's your discord it pops up for review dork that is my discord so it's me uh tmi and uh gabe review dork so it's all three of our discord it's the same one so it's uh, that's the link. It's in the top of the live chat over there. Uh, you get this week essentially for free. If you don't want to continue, all you would have to do was cancel before March 1st. But you get all the access to every single premium chat, all of the alerts, and you can see how powerful they are today with everybody in the live chat making money. So make sure you guys check that out if you are interested um, and just kind of get your feet wet with the strategy. It's very, very powerful. Mm -mm -mm. Paracross. All right. I'm actually down to play that. Small though. Very small on the para. Because para para had faked me today. I mean yesterday. Para was being an a-hole and I didn't like it. So not having fun with para. All right, let's see. If spy starts to go on a little run here, para what's the high of the day? 2870. Oh, damn it. I don't like that. Where's DraftKings? Okay. Where is DraftKings? That's a good we could look at DraftKings. It's Peter and it's Peter and Spy's coming up here a little bit. Uh, 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 three for one in the discord SV, TMI, and RD. Yeah. And then we do those two live streams, uh, every single week, uh, or six to eight live streams a month. Sometimes we can't get to it, but, uh, yeah. Let's see. Sign up now in case before March 1st, you get a week free. Yeah. If you guys don't like it, you can leave. But if you do like it and you think it adds to your trading and, and you like the live streams and you like all like being in the community, you guys are all welcome to stay. So make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, and yeah, if you, there's a link. So when you do sign up into the free part of it, there's a link to like in the, there's a channel for how to actually get into the premium. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you had to choose unusual whales or 1348 discord, what would you recommend? Dude. All day, every day, 1348, because it's actionable. You don't actually know sometimes what the the whales are doing. Like, you have no idea. That's the thing I didn't like about unusual whales. I do like unusual whales. But the one thing that I didn't like for my trading is I had no idea why I was taking any trades. It was just like, oh, there's a lot of people buying it. You're just kind of following where money is going, which is a smart strategy. It's just not for me. Um, I like to more be like, okay, well, this is the strategy that we're using here. It's 1348. It's very simple, very effective, shows you the momentum, and you can make a bunch of money. Yep, 69 bucks a month. You get three of us. You get me, TMI, and Gabe. 
And then you also get uh, six to eight live streams, private live streams every month. You get alerts on, well, you're about to get alerts on the daily time frame on every single stock in the Russell 2000. Then you're going to be getting alerts on 250 to or 300 to 350 stocks on the three minute where you can then look at it on the five, the four hour and the 30 minute. And then you also get crypto alerts. And then you also have us in there all the time. So Spy's popping up a little bit here. Uh, Amy's starting to come back to life. Maybe, hold on, where's Spy? What's this like on the one minute? Yep, I like it a little bit. Uh, 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 are the live streams recorded? Yes. <clears throat> so they're in there. They're in there. You just have to click on the link from the Discord. So Spy moving around over here, AMC1627, DraftKings popping up a little bit here, just joined today, already made the subscription fee for next month. There you go, Mark. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Spy moving up here a little bit, Amy getting a little bit of action here, DraftKings still moving up, GME's coming back to life over here. Da, 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 da. No, uh, Tim, they're available on TMI's channel, but they're, um, they're what do you call it, um, they're private, so you have to go into the Discord to see them. AMC crossed? Not yet. The MACD crossed, but on the five-minute time frame, AMC has not crossed up yet. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where are these alerts coming from? Uh, so, Lethal, basically what it is is, let's just take this spy example right here. Uh, let me see if I can get this on the three-minute time frame. So, this is a good example. On the three-minute right here, the spy alerts you. Okay, so here's what you're looking at here. You would get this alert on the three minute time frame right at 9:36 or right around here, 9:33, 9:36, right around here. Um, that the 13 is crossing below the 48 on the three minute time frame. What you then do is pull it up on the five minute chart, and you're like, okay, well, let's see what happens when it's about to cross on the five minute. So it lets. So we said 9:33 to 9:36. Okay, so now you wait uh, five, 10, 15 minutes. Then it crosses. At 9.50, it crosses below the 200 EMA. You would enter around here on this confirmation candle, around 431. Spy falls all the way to 426, and you make hundreds of percent. That's an example of an alert that you get. Let's see here. SoFi shorted 17%. Let's take a look. Uh-uh-uh. 96% utilization, 1% cost borrow, 19.15% estimated short interest. Amy popping up here a little bit. Let's see. Disco cross? No, they have earnings. I'm not, I'm not touching Disco. Uh, really proud of myself. Yesterday I left it all on the table, but today I made bank. Chris, I love that, dude. Thanks for the answer. Lethal injection. Anytime, buddy. So that those are the types of things that you get, but you get those on like 300 stocks. So what it does is like, yes, I can have four stocks up here and watch them all day long. But it doesn't it, like you won't see everything. So like, it's just there to like give you the tools to like see literally everything in the market. Did you buy a call on para? No. Should I have? No, I, I didn't get para. It's just the high of the day over here is 28.73. That's not a big enough move for me to be like, yeah, I want it. Does everyone buy puts in short AMC? Jim, we've talked about this many times today. No. What's the ticket for natural gas? There's a few of them. Uh, UNG is one of them. It's selling off here a little bit though. Yeah, UNG is coming down a little bit here. Oxy, is Oxy coming down? Yeah, Oxy's coming down on a little 1348. I think I'm going to get a small Oxy put position. So I'm late on it. I'm a little late on the 1348 on Oxy, but let's see what happens. All right. I don't want to get assaulted with my fill. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens here. Oil's coming down. I don't know. I think, wait, doesn't Oxy have earnings? Doesn't, oh, you, you a-hole. They're not filling me. Order cannot be modified. Nice, they filled me. Thank you. All right, I'm going to see how these Oxy puts go. Um, 
it's been, it, they have gone well, very, very well in the past, especially when oil starts to sell back off. Uh, let's see. You so heading towards a cross down yet. Yeah, they all are. Um, so let's see spy rejecting off this 13 oxy coming down a little bit here. Du, 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 du. <laughs> uh, do you suggest, uh, to get out of Robin hood and do a better platform? If I, if I decide to get into your discord, um, so for charting, you're going to need something else to execute the trades. You can, I would just would not. I personally am not going to mess around with Robin Hood. So that's just kind of how I view it. You can do it if you don't want to go through the hassle of transferring. But personally, that's not for me. What strike on Oxy? I think I got the 38 for this week. Where are these at right now? I'm up 1%. Nice. It's crushing it over here. Yeah, 224 on Oxy earnings. Okay, so I'll try, I'll probably be out of it today. Why is oil dropping? Well, it was ripping up today, and it's coming back down. Ooh, oil's coming back up. So, I don't know. This could be a little bit of a risky play. Um, I'm going to play it just like everything else, though. It's a 1348 with oil, so we'll see what happens with it. Uh, volatility index is freaking wonky. Yeah, I bet it is, man. Also, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button on the stream on your way in. Just helps out a whole lot with the algo. Uh, spy moving down a little here. Uh, might drag Oxy down a little bit with it, or it might inverse. Uh, 13, it's like 1348 is the most profitable EMA crossover. You can look it up. We just created a system around it. Uh, hundred percent off spy and 40% on micron. Good day so far. It made more than what I will from work in a little bit. Habib, uh, there you go. I think we should just cross up already. You know what Sam? Me too. Can't stop. Won't stop. AMC will pop says my name is Justin frozen peas and meat juice. There you go, buddy. Once you get Weeble, you want to even think about Robinhood, the charts. Yeah, I like Weeble a lot better than for options uh, than Robinhood's a lot better. I've never had Robinhood. Uh, 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 let's see, forty-eight thirteen <laughs> making money. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, yeah, technically. All right, spy flicker in here. Oxy, where's oil? Yeah, oil just sold off a little bit. Oxy website says earnings February 25th. Uh, I also read it's February 24th after hours. Well, at least it's not today because <laughs> I don't want to hold puts through earnings. I think Oxy would have good earnings. So I don't know. I'm not going to play it, I don't think. I might play Disca, though. Where is this? When's Discovery's earnings? Let me see. Was that a dead count bounce on the SPY? Mm, it came down to this level right here that I see as nice little support and then bounce right back up. So we'll see. We'll see. Oxy 24th, 25th live earnings call. Okay, interesting. What date, uh, what is uh, AMC's Q4 earnings date? Uh, March 1st, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll probably stream it on this channel. 3% on Oxy. Ung is not having fun, but I'm essentially strangling oil and natural gas right now. So if one does good, blah, 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 then we're good to go. So I know that was a terrible explanation of it, but I have puts on Oxy calls on natural gas. <laughs> Uh, uh, is the 13, 48, and 24? Okay, the 24, I think I have the, so it's 13, 48, and the 200 all EMAs, and then I've got the, uh, what do you call it? 25 MA on there, just for fun. Told you it was today, Disca, I asked you to press it in for me. Oh, it's today after hours? Okay, I'll play that. Uh, Disca, it's actually not going to be that bad. Um, it's usually kind of, actually, hold on. Option. What does Disca do on earnings? Because Viacom did something crazy. Earnings. Wait, earnings here, 23 to 28, that's big. This one, 28, 29, that's not terrible. What's this? Nothing. This is just gnarly over here. Just look at, all right, maybe we'll play it because Viacom moved huge. Uh, it's hard to price these in because it's not the weekly. That So... There, it's not a weekly expiration date, so it's going to be more expensive. So let me think about how we want to do this because you're getting the March contract. You've got like four weeks. Uh, just join the Discord today. Are there any plays I could get into right away? Well, make sure you're looking at the alerts. You're going to get alerted on the three-minute time frame if you're looking for day trades. Then you have to pull up on your chart the five-minute with all your indicators. Remember, you have to learn the strategy. These are not buy and sell alerts. This is just giving you a better view of the market with the strategy. 
Uh, Oxy. Oxy. Own girl. Uh, Bloomberg bullish on natural gas. Fingers crossed on own calls. <laughs> I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. Uh, okay. Let's see here. What do we got? Do you act trying to go up? Yeah. Spies moving back up here. Oxy, where's natural gas? Or where's oil? Yeah. Uh, heating oil just went down, and WTI crude is still coming down a little bit here. Uh, you can use the 24 EMA just like the MACD. Uh, the 25 MA is just something that I'm messing around with. Spy cross on the one minute. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, maybe I'll get a little YOLO spy call. Did it cross on the one minute? Yeah, spy cross on the one minute. Where is this? It's a dollar move. I want a closing candle above the 13. Space about to cross down. Ooh. Don't forget the hedgy tears today. Very, very true, my man. Jim, if you have a problem with it, that's on you. No, you have a problem with it, so it's on you, bro. You don't like people buying puts. It's not your money. Stop telling other people what to do with their money. People are making money today. Okay, stocks are going down. Numbers on the screen are saying it go down. Numbers in our account are going up. Like, dude, you're doing this wrong. Mm -mm. Uh, SV, the way you talk about 1348, it's almost like you're not giving financial advice. I'm not. You just want when to buy? That's not what it is. It's not It's not buy and sell alerts at all. Like that's. It's just giving you the tool. It's like a data tool is essentially what it is. You made 1,000 on the spy two days in a row? There you go, Alexander. Puts are not shorting. Exactly. Puts are not shorting. Spy's coming up here. Mm -mm -mm. Just crossed 100 MA. All right, let's see what we want. Um, hmm. Oxy coming back down. Yeah, that's not following the rules, so I'm not going to do it. Let's see. Intel looking across. Dude, I like the stream, but I can't handle all the noises. Oh, you're going to struggle then. <laughs> it's a technical alert. Yeah, exactly. It's just telling you when things are happening. Uh, are you successful with the alert trades you've taken? I know you still got to read the charts. Just yes. I tell you guys what my trades are every single day. Yesterday, really good on spy puts. Today, really good on Apple and SoFi puts. Those are the only two trades I've taken today. Now I have Oxy puts. Uh, uh, uh. Can you please make a tutorial video on how to play options asking for a smooth brain ape? I can try. A imagine someone helping for free to make you more financially independent and then getting mad at them. Yeah. It's funny how as a community, we used to scream for more data to level the playing field. The Discord provides data and people bitch about it. Yeah, exactly. You can never make everybody happy. It's just not going to happen. All right, Oxy coming back down here. Possible to send all my funds from Robinhood to TD or Rebel? Yeah, you can do that. You just have to do a transfer. Just curious? Just join the tra uh, Discord. Orlando, awesome. Welcome to the Discord, buddy. Um, Make sure you watch. Okay, so here's the thing. Everybody that is joining premium, you need to watch the videos first and understand the strategy. And if you need to, you can paper trade first and just feel it out. Uh, Do you go to the game last night? The UConn game? No. All righty, folks. Let's see if you got a wrench. <laughs> nice name change, buddy. All right, spy flicker in. Oxy. Are these up? Let's see. Half a percent in the green on the on the new Oxys. I'm rich. All right, let's see. I ignored the 1348 last week on Oxy, thinking it would moon with the invasion. I learned a valuable lesson. I did the same thing. Um, but that was different. That was like a very, very small percentage of what I was trading. Uh, so Oxy is coming down a little bit here. Spy flickering. Uh, WTI crude is probably coming down a little bit as well. What do we got? Oh, yeah, crude's coming down. Never betting on UConn again. Didn't we win? I think we win, didn't we? We definitely won. Wasn't it like 71-69 or something? It was something like that. Like, everybody was just posting it on their Instagram. I was like, all right. 
Chill out, people. Uh, Robin Hood will charge 70 to move the cash to another account. Right, but you can talk to the other broker and be like, this is, I don't want to pay this. And they'll be like, all right, we'll waive the fee if you come over to us. If I sell early while paper trading, does that make me a paper trading paper hand? See Hill, yes. Yes, it does. Uh, all right, people. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too. Just helps out a whole lot with the algorithm. Oh, Spy's coming back up here a little bit. Oh boy, the statement puts aren't shorting isn't entirely accurate. If you buy an in the money or at the money puts, you're forcing the market maker to short. Right, that's true, Ryan, but it's not the full amount of shares. Um, and the other thing is that they honestly may not even be hedging a lot right now because if they can stay within that max pain range, they can they can re remain delta neutral by just off selling offsetting contracts. So let's say that let's say we buy a bunch of puts from the market maker. Now they have a positive delta. They need to offset that with shorting. But then there's another group of people that want to buy a bunch of calls. So then they sell calls to them, but that's negative delta. So you have positive delta on selling the puts, negative delta on selling the calls, and they balance each other out. You don't have to do anything. Spy coming up here a little bit. Oxy flickering. Up 40% on spy calls. Damn. Overstock. How's it doing now? OSTK. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it a little bit earlier with the earnings in T0. Like, it looks good. So, Amy, 16.15 over here. Uh, GME, 119.43. So, AMC right now, uh, we're just kind of waiting for the market to chill out and let it run. We have all those catalysts coming up. We have Batman. Uh, and we have earnings coming up, which I'm really excited for. That's next week, people. This is going to be a fun time. Uh, and you guess how long the DOJ investigation will take? Probably years. These, these people are either really rich people who don't care about money, paid shills, or both. Yeah, pretty much. Or they're just silly. Uh, you're up 22% on spy calls, sweating bullets, because I kind of YOLO'd calls. Careful. Spy looking like yesterday. Will it run to... Fuck, could. All right. I kind of want a little bit of spy exposure over here. Like, if it's going to go... What about the three minute? Has it crossed on the three? No. Okay, once it, I'll leave this on the three minute. If it crosses this 48 EMA on the three, then I might get some spy calls. But other than that, I'm probably just going to leave it over here for a while. Oxy, chilling. Come on, spy up 12%. Careful, people. Thank you for always being cool about explaining things to us. Tim, anytime, man. That's what I'm here for. Or these people have no settled cash and are frustrated. That's fair, too. You miss one. Uh, these people are probably paid $10 an hour to shill all day. Uh, maybe Ung premiums just went up. Uh, it's moving up. All right. Spy is moving up here a little bit. So mm, 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 my own premiums did not go up, which is kind of disheartening. You know, you know, it just hurts. You know, it just doesn't feel good inside. Oh man. The contracts that I wanted would have been so good. All right. What do I want on these? I don't want that contract. That contract sucks. Micron looking to run. See, you're thinking. I like that. Micron looking to run. I like that idea over here. Five minute MACD cross. Micron can get a little jumpy. 10% on our spy call. There you go. Wait, where's where's Oxy? I don't, I don't know what I want to do with this. Eh, it's chilling. It's chilling. Where's natural gas? Ah, it's selling off. Uh-oh. Uh, don't cry if you get burned on spy calls right now. Exactly. This is not, this is not 1348 strategy at all. Uh, this is on the three minute, like on the five minute. You're nowhere near getting into a spy call alert. Snap looking like it's starting to boil. May cross the three soon, approaching the 200. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Amy, 1615. GME, up 1.52%. Let's see. Oxy, 38.52. Lucid going back up. Interesting. 23% on spy calls. There you go. You called that Micron and Aversal like 10 minutes ago? God damn it. <laughs> Oh man, it gets me every. Well, it was this 88.73 to 89.2. Yeah, it's about a dollar. That's pretty good. No, don't micron make chips from work. Okay, shut up. <laughs> RCC is a good natural gas play. It's underpriced. Interesting. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Everything's just kind of chilling out over here. Where's Oxy? I think Oxy puts could be nasty going into the end of the day. I just, eh, we'll see. What's it on the one minute doing here? Yeah, coming up to test this 48. It's pretty volatile though. Like this thing flickers around a lot. Uh, where's natural gas right now? Or er, oil? Selling off still. Not up a whole lot. Mm -mm -mm. All right, spy moving back up here a little bit. Oxy flickering around. 
I'm excited for DWAC and CFVI. Interesting. Wall Street Bets just loaded up on AMC again. I don't care what they do. They're a bunch. Honestly, Wall Street Bets is like, no, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if everybody in Wall Street Bets is actually doing that. That's the thing. DWAC is the most perfect path any stock could ever take. No way. He said that. That is crazy. Also, guys, uh, as you're filtering in, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream too. It just helps out a whole lot uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you guys so much for all your support recently. Uh, 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 let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Max Payne on Spy is 435. Yeah, but Spy doesn't really abide by Max Payne all the time. Do I do 100, please? Didn't it create, hit like 138 in the pre-market yesterday? Rant? I don't think I can get a rant, uh, Keith. Can we get an Ortex on Crocs? Crocs. I don't. Nope. We cannot. Apparently. Apparently, we cannot do that. <laughs> apparently, it does not want me to do that. Well, should be infiltrated in June. Don't trust anything. Yeah. Do you know that spy expires today? Thanks. I do know that now. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oxy chilling. I feel like he likes to engage with some of the negative shills. SCV uh, got wrenched. Just uh, just tell me where the shills are. And then if it's like really wild, then you can time them out. CFEI on watch. Oh, my. What the, what the hell is going on here? Do you remember your everything in life is a risk rant? Yes. That's a good one. Because it is. It's true. Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why everyone is crying. The last week or so has been the biggest money making opportunity. Every day, this buy tanks, V shape recovery, make money up and down. Exactly. Like that's what we're doing. Oh, hold on. CFVI looks like it's crossing and above this 200 right here. That's kind of spicy. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's, ah, oh, fell right back down. Uh, let's see here, people. All righty, everybody. It is 12. That is going to wrap up the live stream for today. Just for the morning, we'll be back on at 1.15. Also, guys, make sure you have your notifications turned on for the channel so you're notified every time that I post a new video. Um, and again, if you do want to join and get that premium for free for the rest of the week, uh, and can't, if you don't want to continue after, just cancel before March 1st. Um, but if you do like it, we'd love to have you in here, build the community, and love to interact with you guys. So... Again, guys, thank you so much for all of you guys who would be in positive, even though we had a lot of negative people in here today, but the only thing really negative was probably their accounts because they weren't buying puts with 1348. So if you guys don't mind hitting that like button on your way out, just helps out a whole lot with the algorithms. Uh, I'm going to hop over to TMI's channel in a little bit. Um, so make sure you guys run over there and say hi. But other than that, guys, thanks for an awesome morning. Hit that like on the way out. Peace.